All right, we do need to get to our next guest. Yeah. He is a, uh, a world record holder. Ooh, this is exciting. In the, I would presume, the Guinness Book of World Records. That, I mean, that's the unimpeachable source of Guinness Book World Record holders. That's the major source for these things. It really is. I wonder if there are other record books that no one ever looks at or talks about. Like the Schlitz Book of World Records. Let me look this up in Schlitz's. All right, he is a world record holder. He's here to tell us about this world record, amongst other things. Please welcome Frank Dorito. Hello. Frank, it's so nice to meet you. You well, and I Frank have never Dorito. met. <laughs> I have never met you before. No, I have not. <sighs> What's that? <laughs> we never met before. We have never met before. <laughs> you we, and I, this is the first time we've ever met. We've, we've never met before, yes. Nice to meet you and a nice to meet you. What's that? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Dorito. <laughs> yes, well. Gonna, gonna maybe ask you to speak up. I'll try. <laughs> See what I can do. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, as you said, I'm a world record holder. Oh, are we just getting into it? Yeah, I want to tell you about it. <laughs> you want to chit chat about the weather or something? <laughs> it's very cold out. Oh, so, what I noticed. Little weather report. Yeah, it is very cold out. <laughs> With a wind moving in from the east. <laughs> You wanted a weather report. <laughs> Over here we have the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you pointing to the side? <laughs> that's the weather. That's the weather. The weather map in the background. It's coming in. Mm. He's Sun's giving the coming weather in report. from the sky. He's standing in front of the green screen. As you can see, I'm the weather man right now. <laughs> and this is where the screen exists. Are you a weather person? No. <laughs> I do what I'm asked. You do what you're asked? Absolutely. I, don't, I, I have no idea what that means when it comes to your occupation or... No, my job is... Uh, my job, I don't have a job. You don't have a no, job? No, I don't need to have a job because of my record. Oh, okay, so you're a world record holder. Yes. A lot of people who have a world record for, you know, most hula hoops that they fit on their body or mm -hmm. whatever, they don't... That's your example? <laughs> can you fit on your body? <laughs> Look it up. I'm sure it's in there. <laughs> Look it up in schlitzes. Ugh. Yeah. What, what's your better example? Tallest man. <laughs> How about that freak with the fingernails that's always in there? <laughs> I should have thought about him. You didn't mention my height, I will say. Yeah, you're very tall. What, how tall are you? I'm seven feet tall. <laughs> you're seven not, feet... Not tall enough to win a record for it, but uh, I am tall. Yeah, you're seven mm -hmm. feet tall. So how tall is the tallest man, and did you hope to get up there? He's 14 feet tall. There was no chance. <laughs> yeah. He's all legs, baby. <laughs> so you say baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, I, I do. I know a couple other people who do. It's a common phrase. <laughs> oh. So, Frank, mm -hmm. tell us about... The, is it one world record or is it several? It's one. It's just one, yeah. and yet you make a substantial living off of it. Well, yeah, because you'll see what my world record is, is that I hold the world record for most wishes granted. <laughs> 
so I don't need to have a job. But most wishes granted. Mm -hmm. So you're granting the wishes or you have had them granted to you? I make a wish, it gets granted. I get a point on my chart and I keep my record. <sighs> I'm a very lucky man. <laughs> It sounds so. When, uh, when you say these wishes, is it just like, oh, I wish uh, mom would come home early today, or is no, it... Uh, mom, well, I try to wish for things that are a little out of my control. Okay. Um, I wish I was a little bit taller. Wish I was a baller. <laughs> no, that, type. that type of thing, so yeah. <laughs> They've all come true. I am taller and I'm a baller now. So, in every sense of the word, both basketball and dollars. How tall were you before you made these wishes? I mean, I was two one. <laughs> <laughs> I was two one. I wished to be five feet tall. I wished to be a little taller over and over again until I got to be seven feet tall. Then I lost both my legs. Uh, in a very painful accident, and um, I then wished for them to regenerate. <laughs> Mr. Well, Dorito, may I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Were you just trying out the various heights in, in little increments just to see which felt the most comfortable? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you didn't want to wish too big. Yeah, you try to be realistic with a wish and something you're going to stick with because uh, you could be unhappy with it and it might be irreversible. So are you mm -hmm. sure you weren't just naturally growing? I mean, at what age were you 2 1? 42. <laughs> okay. It seemed like it was done. <laughs> when did you stop growing, Mr. Ackerman? <laughs> I don't know, 17, something okay. like that. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, is that a secret? <laughs> so you were 42. How old are you now? 48. 48? Yeah. You... <laughs> <laughs> uh, was that the first wish you made? Was you wish you were a little bit taller? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. Why were you... Why did you make this wish? Well, I found a lucky penny. And uh, I said the lucky penny rhyme. What, what's the lucky is, penny rhyme? See a penny, pick it up. All day long, you'll have good luck. Make a wish, let it lay. All day long, you get to play. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see a penny and you pick it up, mm -hmm. all that day you'll have good luck. Yes, you bet. But that if, is a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. Mm -hmm. The rest is fiction? or mm, the, the rest is fiction. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's all true. It's all true. For me, at least, you know, all my wishes come true, and every, every form of wish I make, it all comes true. It all comes true. So, mm -hmm. th But this, this one, I wish I was a little bit taller, was on a penny, mm -hmm. a lucky penny. You let it lay there, and mm -hmm. you made a wish. Mm -hmm. and, and then I got to play all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the part that I don't really understand. I don't write the rhymes. <laughs> These are old fables we all know we all know so well. Mr. Dorito. Yes. If I may. Mr. Thick. That's correct. As in the expression unusually thick. <laughs> uh. When you made this penny wish, did it take did it uh, become effective immediately? Yes, I did grow about a few centimeters in the exact moment. So uh, centimeters. Uh, you, yes, she wished he wished to be a little bit taller. <laughs> and in my eye line just raised slightly. Were you, were you wishing in the metric system? <laughs> I, you know, this was my first wish, so I wasn't very specific. I just said a little bit taller and there I grew. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it, it was just immediate, just suddenly, just yes. boom. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay. Yes. And then did you realize that you had that the penny had caused it. Yes. Did you try to find another penny? I did, but you know, you can't, you can't force a wish to happen. You have to have these things happen naturally. You know, you have to wait for your birthday and such. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. was the next one was on your birthday? And the or? next day was my birthday, <laughs> yes. How serendipitous. Yes, it was very serendipitous. I was brought a cake at dinner. It was a surprise. Very lovely from my wife, yes. Who, tell me about your wife. She is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's gorgeous. You know, she's a supermodel, but that is a new addition. 
Oh, wait, this is a new a new wife. <laughs> no, no, same wife got more beautiful with a wish. Oh. <laughs> yes. Wow. I wished for her to go get plastic surgery. <laughs> She did it. She's very obedient. Just like you mentioned. That's right. Kirk would be pleased. I love an, ob- <laughs> I love an obedient wife. <laughs> do what I say, not as I do. <laughs> not as you do. <laughs> no, I'm very bad. <laughs> you uh, you play around on your wife a lot? Or? I play around my wife, yeah. <laughs> you play around oh, all day? I, I lay her on day. the ground. I put a twister mat on top of her. <laughs> play, play, play. <laughs> Sounds like you have a wonderful relationship. <laughs> but let's move on from her. Okay. <laughs> she gave you a surprise cake. Yeah, it was so lovely. Yeah, we were having a nice dinner. I thought no one was going to acknowledge my birthday. And then the waitress came up singing happy birthday and in the restaurant style, as you may be familiar. Sure, of... Uh, uh, happy, happy birthday. Oh, it's your uh, special day. Right. Make a wish. You'll get it. Whatever you want, it's going to happen today. <laughs> <laughs> So I got real excited because I knew I could make a wish now, and this, you know, this was happening to me now. So, so you had never made a wish previously on your birthday? Oh, you know, I usually say them out loud, which I've learned is incorrect. Okay, yeah. so 41 years of saying them out loud. Yeah, begging for it to happen. You know, mm. I'd just be sitting at, the, at my birthday table saying, I wish my life was better. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing would change. So, but then the day before you find this penny, a wish is granted. You realize that maybe some of the actual uh, uh, structures of these wishes need to be adhered to. Yes. So you decide to keep this silent. And what do you wish for? In my head, I silently said, I wish I was a baller. (laughs) (laughs) We've covered my my main wishes. Now, these were the first two. So, yeah. Silently wished for that. My wallet got fatter. A basketball rolled into the restaurant. (laughs) I dribbled it between my legs, around my wife's head, and through a waitress's skirt. That's nothing but net. (laughs) Mr. Dorito, I have two questions. (laughs) So the wish to be a baller came true in every sense of the word Mm -hmm. baller. And also, (laughs) was the waitress wearing the skirt at the time? Did you perform this swish? She was actually trying to get a world record. Uh, she had hula hoops all around. <laughs> and, yeah. They were on suspenders with fabric on the outside. So no we, undies, I might add. <laughs> Lucky day for Mr. Dorito, and I dunked that, heard a swoosh of her pussy, and... <laughs> Please, Mr. Dorito. No, no, no. <laughs> Such... <laughs> no. Stop kicking me. Let me do what I want. <laughs> his, his gigantic long legs it almost, yeah. almost knocked me over. I feared Mr. Dorito has gone mad with power. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you almost fell. I wished for it in my mind. <laughs> Mr. Dorito, yes. I don't want to get off the subject of wishes entirely, but I, I am curious about your life as a two foot one person. <laughs> Would, would that not have been a, a record in itself? <laughs> mm, no, no, it's not. Really? There was someone shorter. There was a smaller man than me. He's nine inches tall. He's all dick. <laughs> we didn't ask. You, but it's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> You didn't know to ask. <laughs> so he, he may be a double record holder. <laughs> proportionally. I don't think... Proportionally, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's 100% dick, so... That is a better proportion than any of us can claim, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, most of us are, what, maybe 2%? <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> so at this point, how many wishes 
have been granted to you? I've gotten 2,697 wishes granted. Yes. Wow. Yes. So yes. is anything about you like the original Frank Dorito? Oh, you know, my, my, my winning smile. <laughs> that you kept the same. Yeah, but I did put two fangs in the back of my mouth. <laughs> in the back? Yeah. <laughs> Why? To what purpose, if I may my, wi- <laughs> my wife loves Twilight, so um, she likes the idea of a vampire going down on her. <laughs> but but I th- want them to be a secret, you know. I see. <laughs> Yep. Your wife loves Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> the books or the the films. The films. She can't read. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wish I made a few years ago. <laughs> Did you not want her to read the record book? Yeah. Oh, I didn't want her to read it all and have that power. You know. She couldn't get her way out of a paper bag. <laughs> And she's tried. Did you wish for a paper bag? Or a- yes, I wished for a paper bag so big it could get her inside. I stapled it shut, and I watched her struggle. <laughs> so I would imagine with over 2,000 wishes, you run out of a few after a while, and they're just kind of whimsical like that? Yeah, you start to have a little fun with it, you know? <laughs> I got all the money, I got a big house, I got a mansion, you know, I, I got a hit song. <laughs> you Ooh, have a hit song? song? <laughs> this, Let's this... hear you perform it right oh, now. <laughs> show me that smile, Ooh, show me that smile. Don't waste another minute on your crying, whether we're near the Yeah. That's a that's a terrific number. Is that on the charts right now? Yes, it's number one. Congratulations. I was gonna say, you've only been making wishes for six years. That song is about twenty some odd years old. I made a wish for it to be the hit song and a theme song of a show from the eighties and nineties. And uh, it retroactively worked and I'm um, getting all the money. Wow. <laughs> So you've made wishes that have affected all of humanity. Mm -hmm. Because that certainly did. (laughs) Well, it's it's a shared experience that we all have that we wouldn't have if you hadn't made that wish. I have a question about the money that you accrue. Yeah. Does it get taken from other people in the world, or is it new money, so our money is now kind of worthless because there's so much circulating out there? Hmm, I never really investigated. You know, it comes right into my room, into my pillow. (laughs) Into your pillow? It flies through the window, fits inside my pillow, and my sleep gets a little better. (laughs) Is it gold coins, or is it paper money? It's gold coins. (laughs) Painful, painful gold coins. But you're sleeping better. Because I love money. Mm. Don't you sleep well when you get a paycheck? (laughs) I've never seen the correlation before, but I guess so. Okay, have you ever been poor? Yeah, I, yes. So didn't you sleep worse when you were worrying about the money? Well, I was younger, so I think I slept more. Okay, you know what? (laughs) Forget it. I was very poor until this point, and then I... You were. You were a poor little two foot one? (laughs) Yes. I mean, I was married, you know, my wife, we were homeless, though. She'd push me around town in a little baby stroller. <laughs> but, I mean, you were rich in love. She was just a few plastic surgery sessions away from being a supermodel. Yeah, that's true. I was rich in love, I guess. But, you know, that doesn't buy you much. Doesn't buy you happiness, huh? You were unhappy. I was unhappy. Before all of these wishes. I wanted an alligator car. <laughs> what is an alligator car? Okay, funny you should ask. It's an alligator carved out, stretched with wheels. They scoop out the inside of the alligator. Scoop out the inside. They put a car, car, par, car parts inside the alligator skin. So it'll go. <laughs> Good thinking. Do they put the engine in the rear or in the... In you know, the f- uh, they put the engine in... Uh, it goes in the rear, in the, in the anus of an alligator. <laughs> Tight spot. 
How fast does it get? Two miles an hour. <laughs> it's kind of like a Flintstones car, really. My feet do all the work. Really? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Why so would I just you... walk around with a big alligator head on. <laughs> Why would you wish for that? <laughs> I get to be in every parade. <laughs> Do you, after a while, crocodile, do you, um, do you, do you, uh, do you just start putting random words together, like alligator car? Yeah, well, what do you, what do you want to wish that for? That sounds you know? like you. <laughs> what do you want to wish for? You have okay. anything in your life you want? Well, I mean, I think we all, uh, wish for more human connection with our loved ones. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Don't you want, like, monkey shoes? <laughs> monkey shoes? Yeah, shoes made of little monkeys that are grabbing onto you. <laughs> Wait, so they're live monkeys? Yeah, they're squealing all the way. <laughs> you get a lot of attention that way, lots of looks. You know I love to get looked at. Is so that I what I made you do myself so tall. Hmm? You do it for the looks? That's... I do it all for the looks. <laughs> and the pure happiness I get. Now, I, uh, uh, I have a wish. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, have you started just kind of coming up with these wishes where now if you just make wishes, you can get them? Or does, uh, no, you do there have, have to be kinda, special circumstances? Yeah, you have to kind of find yourself in a place like a wishing well. Um, I will say, don't trust a genie. <laughs> really? Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. All you they found wa- a bunch of genies in your life? Oh, yeah. Well, once I got the record, you know, the genies came to me. <laughs> but, you know, they all just want to get out of their little entrapment. <laughs> oh, really? They're stuck in a little enclosure, and they want to get out, and that's their thing. They don't really care about helping you. Really? So mm-hmm. you know, how many do they normally give? Is the three wishes, that's, three a, wishes, that's yeah. a thing? Yeah. yeah. And then they just get out, and they run away, and they don't want to talk to you again, <laughs> no matter how close you got during the process. <laughs> So it sounds like you're just lonely and you... So what? I fell in love with a billion genies. <laughs> and they never call me back. But aren't you in love with your supermodel wife who can't she's read? She's fine. <laughs> uh, she's all right, yeah. I kind of miss when she could talk. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you wish for it? I don't know, you know, I don't want to go back and forth and trick her so much. You know, she's gotten used to being mute now. Did you learn sign language or? No. (laughs) Neither did she. You could wish for that. Like, that could be cool to learn another language or do something useful with it. (laughs) I don't know. I kind of want a tail. (laughs) Well, where do you see yourself going from here? I mean. Up, up, up. Is there someone chasing your tail where uh, they've made a lot of wishes as well and you... Yeah, there is a guy kind of catching up to me now. Yeah, he's oh, getting yeah. very close. Really? Yes, yes. he has 2,000 wishes. Yeah, 2,000, so. and you have 2,000... 2,600, whatever I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, just 600 more wishes or so. And yeah, and he could be right there with me and I'd be out of the book. Is that what you like being in is the book uh, more so than having all the wishes? I personally would rather have the wishes because you could just wish for yourself to be in the book. Well, I guess that's true. I never really thought of it that way. It I seems mean, like cheating, though. <laughs> yeah, I want to earn it, you know. Everyone in that book has earned it, and I'd like to earn it, too. You're not earning anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, oh, Wait, no, Scott, no. Mr. Dorito has earned the title of the man with most wishes granted. Yes. I guess you're... The, the, the physical going out there and finding the wishes and having them granted to you takes a little bit of work. Yeah. But the stuff that you're actually wishing for, you're not earning in the slightest. Well, no, I guess you're right. But, you know, you're not earning a living here. <laughs> Fuck you. I wish I could take it back. <laughs> you're not going to sleep too well tonight without your paycheck. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll sleep pretty good, though, right? (laughs) You're fine. (laughs) So when you're in a situation like this, like, say Mm -hmm. you want a wish, and you're you're in just somewhere like this, like, what would you do if you were looking for a wish right now? We're in the Wilbur Theater, uh, and you... you... (laughs) 
Really, you know, I'd hope for a fairy to come in, a fairy godmother. I'd hope for that for a while. You would hope for that. Does mm-hmm. that help hoping or? Putting a little bit of energy out. You know, prayers and hopes do help you get a wish. So, How, if you... lo- how long do you hope for a fairy godmother to show up before you realize she's not coming? <laughs> Is this sort of like Uber, where if it's like 25 minutes? Yeah, can you cancel it? <laughs> yeah, you can cancel it. And then at that point, you're hoping to see a penny. Now, as I said, you can't really put too much pressure on it. Uh, but often there is a change on the ground, and uh, different amounts of dimes and quarters and those different coins will lead to better wishes. So the higher the Re- coin, the better the wish. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I, just, I, I would have assumed it was a penny. There's but... the one rhyme for the penny, and the rhyme for the dime... It's right there. <laughs> so when you see a dime, you say, rhyme for the dime. <laughs> and then... And then you get to wish whatever you want. Mm-hmm. So let, the, take us through the nickel and yeah, the quarter. quarter. And, yeah. <laughs> Dollar oh, coin. Go ahead. See a nickel, grab it now. <laughs> Don't look twice. There was a sow who walked behind a farm so near... <laughs> And when she got close, she whispered, Dear, make a wish. It will come true. Get that nickel. It's up to you. You ever see a nickel on the ground and go, Ah, it's not worth it. <laughs> all I'll the wait time, for a dime. All the time. <laughs> yeah. Time's way easier. Mm-hmm. Right. Quarter. So, quarter. <laughs> Ooh, there's a quarter. I saw it there. I wish that I could have it hair. <laughs> so this only works in the South? Mm-hmm. Or? In my pocket, up a tree, whatever it is, I want it to be. That's it. <laughs> it felt like it could have been longer, but it's not. They're not always the same no. thing. No, no, no. 50 no. cent piece. <laughs> 50 cents. Now that is rare. <laughs> Grab that dime. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's a tricky one. That's a tricky uh, yeah, one. Very tricky. Not a lot of rhyming I heard in no, it either. You get surprised by a, a seeming mistake. In it, but, right. uh, yeah. And the dollar coin. Yeah. Is it different for the Susan B? Yeah. Susan B, our friend and dear. We love her so, now bring her near. I want a wish granted by a lady. Make it happen and don't be shady. <laughs> Now, of course, up in Canada, we have the Toonie. <laughs> toonie, Toonie, what a game. <laughs> it's like $2, it's just the same. But it's a coin, so have some fun. This wish is yours. You get two, not one. <laughs> wow! Two wishes for a Toonie. Yes. No wonder they started that up there. Yes. Wow, that's you incredible. You could use it when you go back home. To Canada, where I'm definitely from. <laughs> where might else you be from? Earth. <laughs> now, what I've it? noticed you kind of looking at me with a glimmer in your eye this whole time. You have exquisite cheekbones. <laughs> I have to say, Alan, uh, uh, Frank over here is a little bit taller uh, than me mm-hmm. wished for yes. right. right there in the first wish yes. uh, probably would make more of a, a meal than he's very lean though very lean because he's so tall yeah I'll make a good meal huh <laughs> his words not mine <laughs> can I talk to you Frank for one second sure absolutely Alan do you mind just kind of wandering over to the other I'll side let's go of over stage? here and make yeah. some noises <laughs> beep 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 Okay, Frank? Yeah. We're in a situation where we're on stage with a Wendigo. A Wendigo who? A, a Wendigo. Wendigo. Oh. Yeah. That's bad. That's bad. Now, okay. I'm hoping that you, as someone who can kind of find wishes in all of these situations, could maybe find a wish so that you could wish for the real Alan Thick to come back to life and be here instead of this Wendigo. All right. I'll do it. Okay. 
Hmm. What do you need? Do you, what, what do you need? Wait, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a screw on the stage. A There's, screw? I can't even see. Your can eyes must be so finely tuned to finding things down on the ground. They right? are. I've always, I'm always looking. Now, screws are a special thing you can wish for when you've earned a hundred wishes. Really? You level up. <laughs> so I don't need just coins anymore. Okay, can you do something? Yeah. Because... There's th- a screw. What do it do? I make a wish and it will come true. It's all mental, though. Say, uh, Alan. Yep. You seem to be seem to be texting someone. I was maybe Snapchatting. <clears throat> but are that- you saying the signature phrase "We're Snapchatting"? No, that's not my catchphrase. Oh, that's right. someone else's. Well, I just made a mental wish. You made a mental wish? Yes. You mean meaning a wish that you don't say out loud? Yeah, you can't really say many of them out loud. They have to be in your head. They have to be in your head. And okay. I just thought of one that's very important to, okay, to Mr. Okay, so Alperin. let me ask you a question. Sure. If I were to ask you to sing the theme song to Diff Rent Strokes, <laughs> could you? But she, Certainly I could. Would Didn't you, we do it already? <laughs> but now uh, Frank has made this wish. It would be different now. It would be different, we're hoping. The song would be different? Your performance of it would be different. <laughs> More confident. <laughs> More accurate. Should I have been listening when you told me not to listen? <laughs> I mean, this, I'm, this is a real mixed message here. <clears throat> I'm afraid that if I tell you my wish, it won't come true, but maybe it already has. No, that makes sense. <laughs> Let, let's, let's just be honest here. I'll just here. say it. I, I, was, I wish that you, you weren't a Wendigo. That you were the real Alan Thicke. Well, that's where I'm from. That's rude. It's him! <laughs> you, you write musicals, and she's a musical person. Oh, is that so? Yes, she's a singer. Oh, this is very exciting. Mm-hmm. She's a pop star. Please welcome Whitney Peeps. Okay. This is weird. <laughs> Hello, Miss Peeves. Why is it weird? What a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Are you from the past? <laughs> After a fashion, yes, I am. Mm-hmm, cool. But I hope to be part of your future. <laughs> oh, God. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know if I am. <laughs> I thought you were maybe married. I might be, but it's, I, mm. but I can't help being a randy old goat. I love the ladies. I love to have my fun. What do you drive? <laughs> I drive, well, what, what is driven for me, are you asking? Uh, you're rich. I'm very rich. Okay. <laughs> Whitney, have you ever wanted to live in a castle? Mm, yeah, totally. <laughs> How about several? What? How could I do that? If you feel tired of living in the one castle, you, you go to live in the other castle. Mm, can you bring all my stuff with me? Of course. There will be all stuff will be there in every castle. Mm. Multiple stuff? Multiple stuff, darling! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're gonna buy doubles of all of her stuff? Mm, Triples like, if need be. Yeah, I was gonna say it sounds like triples. Do you not know how it works being wealthy? I mean, I'm on my way, I hope. Are oh, you? <laughs> not like you. Not like you, Lord Weber. How precious. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what is your favorite thing in your stuff? Mm, I have a lot of cool stuff that I love. Um, <laughs> I have collections. What do you collect, pray tell? Measuring cups. <laughs> what Wait. is it about measuring cups that so fascinates you? Mm, I like to see if my tits are growing. <laughs> <laughs> you, do, you, do you have a lot of measuring cups, but they're all different sizes? Because you may have just bought one set. That's not a collection. Yeah, I have a collection. I have five. <laughs> If you have more than two of something, it's a collection. 
Did you ever get a collection of eggs at the grocery store? Yeah, I collect 12 <laughs> eggs every week. <laughs> So you're a singer, you're a pop star. Yeah. What is, uh, are you on the charts right now? What is? Yeah. <laughs> what's one of your biggest songs? I, I confess to not knowing really a lot about modern music. My big song is Love Me Baby All Night Long. <laughs> love you, Love Me Baby yeah. All Night Long. Does that stand for something? I would hope that, you know, someone would love someone for their entire Does life. Does it stand for something? <laughs> yeah. If what you don't do you stand mean? for something, you'll fall for anything. Do you, do you mean, does it stand for some sort of principle, this song? Or, or is it a giant acronym? <laughs> is it a metaphor for something like, have sex with me all night long? How did you get as far as metaphor, <laughs> but, but you couldn't explain the idea more clearly sooner? It, what it's really about is that it's about being in love with someone, but just for one night. <laughs> A one night stand? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> a one night relationship. You get as deep as you can with that person in one night. Share everything, heart and soul and body. <laughs> so yeah, you fuck all night. <laughs> okay. That's, that, this is an interview technique. If you just stay silent for a long time, they eventually say... say it's very good. Yeah, my publicist told me to stop talking, but I never do. <laughs> All right, I'll jump in. <laughs> Tables have turned. Uh. <laughs> so, Whitney, you uh, love me, baby, all night long. You want me to? <laughs> no, 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 no. I say. You asked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> saucy. And did you make a video for that song? Do people? Yeah, well, I yeah. make music videos. You just put them online because, like, no one watches TV videos anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone watches like, TV online. <laughs> we follow the trends in the music industry. Mm. See, so yeah, I made like my own thing. It's like lemonade, but it's not. Beyonce's lemonade. Yeah, it's called grapefruit juice. <laughs> what's what's it about? Mm, it's about like my life and like my relationships and like just like you know being a pop star. It's just like really and I'm, like mostly politics and stuff too. <laughs> politics. Yeah. Like what's going on in America right now? Yeah, like I have a lot of commentary about it. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Like like what? Like, mainly, like, I just feel like everything needs to change. Like, everything's so bad. Like, I just feel like everything's falling apart. Like, no one's even doing anything to step in. Like, uh, all the presidential candidates we have are, like, horrible. Like, you know what do? Like, who am I supposed to vote for? Oh, my God. <laughs> but I do know who I'm voting for. Who are you voting for? Trump! <laughs> <laughs> Don't boo me, I'm fake. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> We have the same skin color. You and I? No, me and Trump. Oh. Orange. Oh, I see, yeah. I love bronzer, it's my BFF. What do you think BFF stands for? Best fucking fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I love being corrected. <laughs> you're, you're wrong. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> What is it? How did you grow up? I'm fascinated with your life. Do you, what, what, what sort of... Uh, how does someone grow up to be you? Well, I was born in a trash can. <laughs> I, I, I beg your pardon. I was born in like an aluminum trash can. <laughs> aluminum? Yeah, it was like old tiny. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> what, what, what were the circumstances that led you to being birthed in an aluminum trash can. Mm, well, my mom's Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> Your mom I is say, Oscar. I'd say the Grouch. You have buried the lead, dear girl. <laughs> I first of all, I didn't realize that Oscar the Grouch was some sort of. I guess he's trans. Is that he's it's very popular now? He's genderless. Have you ever seen his genitalia? No. There you go. <laughs> I've tried. I freeze-framed it. 
Freeze frame. Freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> well, who was your father? Mm-hmm. Take a while, guys. <laughs> Is it another denizen of Sesame Street? <laughs> yeah. Is it Gordon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gordon. I was gonna say think outside the box hoping you would pick Gordon. <laughs> Gordon? Yes. So Gordon fucked Oscar the Grouch. Please, Godric! Oscar You're fucked Gordon. You're talking about her parents. Well, now she's doing it, so. Oscar fucked Gordon all the way home. <laughs> home to the trash can? Wee, 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 all the way home. <laughs> Like the, like the rhyme goes. So you were, I mean, when you say you were born in a trash can, you just, you know, you were born at home. Yeah, yeah. It was a home birth. <laughs> mm. In a trash can. Yeah. To some sort of trash creature. Mm-hmm. Big Bird was the doula. <laughs> was he always talking about his friend Snuffleupagus? Yeah, but, we yeah. don't believe in him. Yeah. I have a friend, you're right. <laughs> wow, so, uh, and then how, wh- at what point did you grow up wanting to sing? I mean, so at real- what point did you grow up? <laughs> I'm just, I'm gesticulating with my hands, I'm not... That's very unfortunate. I'm not miming boobs. You're still doing it. <laughs> <I>, okay. <laughs> I grew up wanting to sing just from the moment I was born because like, everyone on my whole street sang. <laughs> what? <laughs> everyone on my whole street loves singing. Oh, it's Street. Yeah. <laughs> well, they love singing about their, their address. Yeah, certainly. I, I never, certainly, certainly. I never and, forgot and where I live. the lack of directions to it. Yeah. Whenever I get lost, I sing it and someone tells me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you merely have to sing the entire song <laughs> and then someone will answer with the appropriate directions. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. <laughs> I say, I say, did you grow up singing that song about the numbers from 1 to 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, that one? Yes. How does it go? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wonderful. Big finish at the end. <laughs> thank, thank you. Oh. Certainly. Thank you. Yeah. No follow up song. Nope, there wasn't like 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. What are you saying? These you know, are numbers. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She doesn't know these the numbers. Subsequent numbers. She only knows the one syllable numbers. What were you saying? <laughs> Tracy, but wait, what's your name again? <laughs> it's okay to call her a wrong name, she's fake. <laughs> Whitney, darling. Yeah. This may come as a shock to you, but there are numbers beyond the number 12. Mm, my body hurts. <laughs> <laughs> There's such a mean? thing as 13. Huh? That's 12 plus 1. What? Those are two numbers you know. 12 plus 1? Yeah, well, say for, say, say for instance you had those 12 eggs you were talking about earlier. Yeah, and the eggs I collected. <laughs> What if you were to add an egg to that? I would never dare. <laughs> I said, have you ever bought anything in a larger quantity than a dozen? Mm-mm. <laughs> I feel sick, just like math class at school. I have to go to the nurse. <laughs> There's no nurse here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, tough it out. I hope you can make it through the rest of the show. A very ungallant. <laughs> Tell a young lady to tough it out. I don't think she's really going to die, Lord Weber. I, think. I, do, I don't think so. I, I bet I will. I, <laughs> I mean, yes, you are going to die at some point. I just don't think it's going to be I tonight. I knew it. <laughs> don't go bananas here. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have a new project or anything that you want to plug while you're out here? Mm, I'm on the grapefruit tour. <laughs> So I'm out doing shows in alleys around New York City. Oh, I see. It's yeah. a novel approach. Yeah. You know that lady who does the grapefruit fruit blowjob video? <laughs> I, I cannot say I've had the pleasure. Well, she's my opener. 
Does she just show the video or does she actually? <laughs> she does it. <laughs> she mimes it. Um, she mimes it. Well, she doesn't give a real blowjob in the video. You should watch it. <laughs> it's, it's safe for work. I say, what are we talking about? I'll show you on my phone later. <laughs> Whitney, may I ask you a question? You're a very yeah. stylish young lady. Thank you. How many pairs of shoes do you own? 100. <laughs> so you know that there's larger numbers than 12. Look, <laughs> hold on. I knew I was walking into a trap. <laughs> but I couldn't lie. <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> so your defense is you can't lie? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like Jim Carrey in Liar Liar. I have to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. <laughs> and do you have a, a son who made this wish for you? No. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> I don't have a son. You don't have a son. I'm you on do- BC, baby. You're what? I'm on BC, baby. What's BC? Birthing control. Oh. I've never heard anyone brag about it like that before. I got BC given to me by the state. <laughs> they begged me not to procreate. <laughs> a, r- a very rare distinction. <laughs> not everyone can claim. <laughs> Taking preemptive steps. My gosh. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Whitney, you're a wonderful person. Can you stick around? We no to... one's ever said that. Thank you. Oh, my God. I'm gonna... I, I would agree. That was a surprising <laughs> summation. I'm going to cry. Please don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a sneeze. <laughs> Bless <That's>... me. <laughs> Bless you. Thank Bless you, you. girl. <laughs> These are a couple of uh, uh, interesting young children who have their own business we'll talk about. Uh, I want to welcome JJ and Murphy O'Malleman. Hey! Hey! <laughs> uh, are you saying hey to each other? Or? Oh, yeah, we haven't seen each other in a while. Uh, hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen each other in like, I don't know, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, turn your focus to me and say hey to me. What do you say? Hey. Hey. Okay, yeah, when an adult says hello or introduces you, it's customary to... Uh, to bow. <laughs> no, no, you don't have to bow. Please stop bow, please. You're doing like a Japanese half bow. Please stop that. I recently learned that. Yeah, from the Japanese. Uh-huh, yeah. Now, you got you kids, uh, how old are you guys? Well, I'm 10. You could say, I'm 8. Okay, I will say it, because it's the truth, or are you lying? No, you could say it, but I'm really 11. Oh, <laughs> we're having fun. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. So, we, like, we like to have fun. How, how, what was the distance in between your births? Uh, was it nine months, uh, or was it uh, oh. a year and a half? Or Yeah, it was about nine months. My parents, they did it once, they had me, and then they did it again, and they had him. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your Remember? Birth? Yeah, I remember them doing it. Murphy, what's your birthday? <laughs> it's September 6th. <laughs> uh-huh. And uh, so, JJ, that would make yours then... Uh... 9-11. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so now um, you guys have an interesting business, I know. Uh, and it's, it's it, You could it, say that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so do you or don't you? Yeah, we do. <laughs> okay. Well, we think it's pretty normal, but I understand that not a lot of kids do it. <laughs> yeah, well, not a lot of kids have businesses, uh, nor are they entrepreneurs. Yeah, I guess that's true. We've been trying to get this business off the ground for a while, but it's really working out now. So, yeah, it's really humming. So you guys have gotten it off the ground. Yeah, it's flying. Yeah, are, are you incorporated, or uh, what do you have, an LLC? or? Uh, I don't know. How do you answer that? <laughs> you just cash under the table? Uh, Grown-up questions make me nervous. Uh, uh, look, um, we just uh, get monies from the people. Uh, do you accept uh, traveler's checks, diner's club? Um, just just dollars and cents, sir, please? Dollars and cents, okay. And Yeah, uh, uh, look, look, pal, it's just a... Detective agency, that's it. Okay. Just, We're kid detectives. You're kid detectives. Yeah. Solving oh. crimes and making people do time. Yeah. Hard you're time. putting people in jail? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Meaning your testimony. You're not a, do you do perform citizens' arrests or we lock them up in the slammer. We built our own jail in my dad's basement. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. <laughs> okay, I don't know that it's cool. How many uh, convicts do you have down there? We got there? three rotting right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Serving their time. <laughs> Everyone is rotting, technically. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> wow, what a creep. <laughs> 
<laughs> From the moment you're born, your body starts decaying and dying. Hey, this guy's making me nervous. <laughs> so, well, that's that's adorable. So, I mean, other than the locking people up, uh, I believe you're depriving them of their constitutional rights by uh, locking them into. Or, or do are the police aware of this? Mm, no, the cops don't know. Uh, did you notice our uniforms? Yeah, we don't have any uniforms. We're in street clothes. Civvies. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Do you notice our uniforms? And then you, of course, said, of course we don't. We don't have any. Right. So I said, did you notice them? And then, we, you well, how could you? They're non-existent. <laughs> yeah, of course. Very good. So uh, if you were our to have uniforms. uniforms are shorts and t-shirts. Just kid clothes, buddy. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah. So how did you get interested in this? I mean, this is an interesting uh, uh, occupation uh, for for a young child to be in. I mean, a lot of kids, they're out there on the playground, or they're like, hey, I love my dolly, I like my Barbies. Well, we'll tell you. One okay. night, uh, a couple of our friends dared us to go in Old Man Withers' old abandoned house. That's mm-hmm. creepy. Yeah. And we said, oh, I don't know, no, that looks this is, this is scary. And now, is that a direct quote? Yeah. The, is it, that's why you were stuttering like that? Is, is that's exactly what you said? Well, at the our time? knees were knocking, sir. Oh, okay. Certainly. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Thank you for that uh, modicum of respect directed at me. Yeah. So, so he, they dared us to spend one night in there, and we did it, and there was a ghost, and we found out that all it was wanting was just to um, know that people really uh, remembered it. Okay. All right. So a real ghost. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys nervous right now? Yeah. Just talking about I'm it. S- 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 scared. Just thinking about the g- g- ghost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we had our notepad and our flashlight and a bunch of marshmallows and our backwards hats. Okay. So, what, did the marshmallows come into play ever? We ate them for sustenance. Oh, yeah, you okay. big dumb doy doy. <laughs> okay, I, I thought maybe you used it to catch the ectoplasm. Okay, but Ecto- no. what? Uh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Uh, so- Who is this guy? <laughs> now I don't know that this is detection work as much as going into a house and just seeing a ghost. Uh. uh well, we haven't told you about our current. Crime. Did, did you guys hear that? By the way, there was like a door squeak. That's there- what made me stop in my words. <laughs> Yeah, stop right in my stop words. Right in my words. Yeah, because you said your current crime, but you must meant you must have meant current crime stopping. Yeah, case. we're on a case yeah, right it's now. Yeah, case. Oh, okay. I meant. What is the case, case you're on right case. now? Case. Well, somewhere in the city of Los Angeles, there's a guy who's skinning women al- uh, alive, and w- <laughs> skinning women alive. <laughs> yeah, and we've come across a couple of skinned bodies still, sort of in their last moments of uh, life. <laughs> They've been flayed. Yeah. And we're taking it upon ourselves to figure out who did it. Yeah. How did you come across these bodies? I mean, more one is, is weird enough, but you've come across more than one? Well, the first one was our mom. Yeah, and we sure do miss her. <laughs> but um, don't worry. We put her out of her misery real quick. We put a bunch of salt on her. Yeah. Wait a minute. That is not putting. She shrunk up like a like a slug. That's not putting someone out of their misery. That's an that's lengthening their pain to put their her out of. You know, I would have grabbed a brick or something and bashed her in the head or something like that. Hey, but... that's her mom. <laughs> okay. That's she dried up like a salt lick. Yeah. Okay. So this was the first case. This was the first <laughs> instance of this happening. Yeah. yeah. And then you know, well, we wandered around town. Kind of sad. Kind of yeah. missing our mom. Yeah, our dad wasn't around. Ever since that happened, he's been on the lamb. Yeah, we wonder who did it to our mommy. And so we went out searching, and we found other ladies from her book club who were all flayed and dead. Yeah. Other ladies from her book club? What? Yeah. Okay, yeah, what, so what, we think what it has something were... to do with the book they were reading. Yeah, what book were they reading? Um, A Tale of Two Cities. Did you hear that? Is that that ghost again? Oh, man. Uh, ghost! So it's, they were reading A Tale ghost. of Two Cities. <laughs> they were reading A Tale of Two Cities by Dickens? No. No. An updated version. By J.K. Rowling. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, is are all of the women, you, you went around to the women in this book club. Why did you go to the first one, by the way? Well, we wanted to see if maybe they knew who killed our mom. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, These are her closest friends? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nancy, who's the first woman we stopped at, she was always really nice. She took us in when we were um, running away from our dad sometimes. Oh, okay. Because yeah. okay. sometimes our dad would chase us with a knife and say he was going to skin us. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. But moving on to the case, what... Uh, <laughs> 
Nancy is the first woman you drop by, and yeah. uh, she. where was she? Describe the scene. Well, we opened the door, and then we went through the hallway, and then we went to the kitchen, which was covered in blood, and the skins. And she had Hostess cupcakes. Yummy! Cool. So we had a bit of a cupcake right there and then. Our mom never let us have those when she was alive. Yes, yeah, okay. so we split one and two, and then each had a half. We don't want to overdo it. So you had a quarter of a cupcake. No, I said half. Oh, I thought you meant you split one in two and then each had a half of that half. <laughs> I had an eighth of an eighth. <laughs> Math is getting very complicated for me right now. All right, so you're, uh, you you have not seen the body at this point. No, sir. And we went upstairs to her room and we went in her bathroom and she was in her tub. Yeah. Any water in the tub? Or, or I would imagine there's a lot of blood. Just blood. Yeah, yeah just a whole lot of blood. In mm. her face with but- no skin. And no nose. How did you recognize her? How did you know it was Nancy? She was holding the book. Yeah, and she was still alive. Oh, and she said, my name is Nancy, in case yeah. you don't recognize me? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it sounds like you were there. <laughs> oh, no. I, hey, I mean, I certainly... were you there? Well, no, I have an alibi for that yeah. night, certainly. Oh, I, where the heck were you that well, night? Well, I have an alibi for May 31st, How do you know what day it was? What? <laughs> okay, Murph. Good cop, bad cop. Okay, take notes. <laughs> All right, mister. Want a, want a snack? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would love a snack. I mean, do you have any kind of, like, dry peanuts? Uh, sure. Uh, I'll get some from 7-Eleven. You be bad. <laughs> now listen up, bozo. Hey, wh- where were you? I have a, a red nose because all my capillaries in it have burst because of my dr- drinking. Doesn't oh. mean that you can call me bozo. I don't suppose you were drinking on the night of June 6, 19... <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> what date are you talking about? Uh, I'm talking about the D-Day invasions again. He said it was May 31st. Oh, sorry. Uh, what were you doing on May 31st? Killing a... I mean... <gasps> I was sitting around at home by myself, not calling anyone on the telephone. Oh, he was going to say killing time. Oh. Yeah. Let me see your wallet. Oh, certainly. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. $2, $8, $12, $100. Wait. $112. One plus one plus two, that's four. Four Washington Lane. The next clue <laughs> is in the White House. Let's go. <laughs> four Washington Lane. You guys are going to be lost. What are you talking about? No, no, you. Uh, that's not where we're... Lost. That's not where the, lost the show. Uh, L- John Locke. L-O-S-T. Four, four letters. letters. Four letters. Four Washington Lane. The next clue is at the White House. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, sounds like you just want to go to the White House and you don't know where it is. It is. It is four letters, four Washington, Washington Lane, Lane. Okay. the White House. Okay, let me give Next you a- clue is at the White House. We have to go. <laughs> what give- are we doing? We're wasting time. Let me give you a tip. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. That's where you want to go. So right? you know the location we have to go to for the next clue. Well, I don't think there's any clues at this White House. I think we were right. The clue is at the White House all along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You Just because you stress something doesn't mean that it makes sense. It well, sounds like the clue is at the White House this whole time. Okay, no, guys. Wait, there's a White we live in a White House. Mom? Dad? Who killed Mom? <laughs> okay, guys, what? <laughs> Looking through my notes, pictures, drawings of Mom. She's dead. Who did it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, can, I, can I say something about your deductive reasoning skills? <laughs> if you gotta. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I don't know that you're that good. Okay. Hey, we've solved a bunch of cases. Yeah. Who are the three guys in the basement? (laughs) Well, one's our principal. Okay. By the way, are these guys that your dad just chased around with a knife and locked up in the basement? No, Mm. our principal was really mean. So we locked him up to teach him a lesson. Yeah, and he was also spying on kids. What crime is he guilty of? Spying on kids? He poked holes in the bathroom wall. Yeah. And he put his eyes behind the holes. Yeah, and then when he was getting ready, he shoved his wiener in there. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> At what point was he good and ready? <laughs> when he said, <laughs> I'm good and ready, sang, <laughs> here comes the wiener. <laughs> he sang the dreidel song. He said, <laughs> and when it's good and ready, I'll shove it through the wall. <laughs> he said, dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. When it's good and ready, I'll shove it through the wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a strange, strange catchphrase for this guy. <laughs> But, <laughs> yeah, well, well that's what Mr. To, Salberg gets. But you need to know what his penis looked like. Oh, okay. A yeah. dreidel. Yeah. Ah. It was it pointy and thin coming out, and then got really wide, uh, and then pointy uh, at the bottom. Yeah, and it had all those symbols on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> like was, none. Yeah, he was a dibbuk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this was, a, this was the first 
uh, guy that you put away? Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Okay, okay. is it true? Yeah. Yeah, okay. well, the first guy we tried to put away, he ran. So we shot him. <laughs> oh, boy. What, what, what was his crime? Running away. Oh, yeah. Okay. Was it sort of a stand your ground law kind look, of situation? When two kids of the law come up to you and start asking questions, don't run away. That just makes you look guilty. Ah, okay. What were you asking questions about? Well, um, um, where's the nearest peanut store? And like, how do you? What do you do if you wet your pants but you don't have new ones? Yeah. And um, how can you cry as quiet as you can? <laughs> and like, what do you do if your dad comes smack you in the head? Yeah. And if you've shaved half your head by accident, how long will it take for the rest of it to grow back? And if you have a scrape up your back from being whipped, what does that mean? Yeah. And how long would it take to peel off all your fingernails? And will it hurt? And then he ran away. And then he ran away from you, two weird, creepy kids, and then you brought out a gun and shot him in the back? Yeah. We're not creepy. We're detectives. Yeah. We keep the creeps off the streets. I see. I see. I understand. But we do pack heat. Oh, okay. Yeah, we shot him with a potato gun. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's not that bad, right? It It broke his skull. Oh. And lodged into his brain? Yeah, and he's allergic to potatoes. Oh, okay. (laughs) Which we knew. (laughs) <laughs> okay, so this is premeditated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're not klutzing around. All right. So you. So that was the first guy, and then you moved on to your principal, and then there were a couple others, and then uh, yeah. Also, then, we solved the crime of who stole the treasury from the student body at our school. Oh, yeah. who was this? Well, it turned out to be class president Janine Garofalo. <laughs> <laughs> Janine Garofalo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We let her become a famous stand-up comedian. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so she, was she sort of like, you know, how they gave uh, Dr. William H. Cosby a uh, honorary doctorate? Was she honorary class, class president yeah. of your, because she was so famous? Yeah. yeah. Did she go to your high school? No, we're not in high school. We're in elementary. Oh, that's right. You're in elementary school. Yeah, you big right? dumb doink doink. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, okay. Oink, oink, oink. I'm Scott Ogman. I'm a pig. <laughs> hey, come on. Come on. I'm a pig. I just want to eat popcorn and gold. Okay, okay, you know what? I don't really appreciate that kind of characterization of me. I, I, you know, I mean... Uh, oink, 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 let me roll around the mud. <laughs> okay. I, I, that I, was I, real. That was really good. Yeah. All right. We've seen you. Okay. What? Wait We've a minute. seen you roll around the mud. Yeah, we saw you in front of your house. How have you One, seen... One, two, three, cherry face lane. Cher- yeah, how did you... What have you guys been doing there? Mm, well, we've just been following clues. Well, let's just say you're on the suspect list. Yeah, we didn't want to tell you, but you're our number one. Wait, is... Is that why you guys are here? Is that is that how you got on the show? Is because you wanted to interrogate me? You could say that. Yeah. You could say that. Four, Four words. words. Four, Four Washington, Washington Lane. Lane. The, the next clues at the, the White, White House. House. Guys, guys, no. <laughs> take I, us there, Mr. Ackerman. <laughs> no. Come I, on, let's drive. I can't tell it if I'm... It won't take that long, I, sir. I can't tell if I'm a suspect in this crime or whether you just are looking for a field trip. Well, both. Because the fun part about searching for clues is that you get to learn lessons along the way. And what better lesson to learn than uh, our nation's history at the White House? Maybe okay. we can meet Mr. Obama. Oh, cool. What? What? You guys are interested in history? Yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously you know a little bit about uh, the invasion of Normandy. Oh, man. Gold, Juno, sword. Those are all the Commonwealth and British beaches. Cool. <laughs> all I care about is the Challenger exploding. <laughs> That's all you want to know about? Yeah. <laughs> That's the only piece of American history you're interested in. Yeah, and I haven't learned much. Man, okay. she loves that Challenger explosion. Okay. I watched the video over and over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the night the night our mom died, that's all she did. The night that lady who was a teacher who had a dream died in a spaceship, yeah. I knew it would be the best video I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. <laughs> Who's your favorite killer of all time? I, I don't have Besides a favorite Besides the Challenger. No, <laughs> the ch- Bob Durst? <laughs> yeah, uh, Robert d- 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 Durst. Or m- maybe maybe um ch- ch- Charles m- m- Manson? Are you, you guys are scared of killers. Why are you bringing it up? Uh, we uh, sometimes like to get spooked. Yeah, it makes us feel funny inside. Yeah, my boner gets alive. And my <laughs> penis gets inside. Yeah, she's got an inside boner. It's the best. Okay, well, I, I have a bunch of questions I need to follow up on. Uh, I can't we, imagine. I have to ask you guys, uh, are you really trying to solve this crime of your mother being flayed alive and, and, and eventually leading to her dis- demise? Well, wouldn't you want to solve it if your mommy was flayed? Sure. Wouldn't you want to know who did that to your mommy? Sure, but are, are you sure that maybe you guys didn't, you know... You know Do it? 
I don't. We've mean never have, had sex. I don't mean have no sex. No way. With each other. We're brother and sister. That's my sister. We've only finger banged. Yeah, that's my brother. I really jerked him off. Okay, guys. <laughs> Wait, you're ten. So. You're 10. She's 11. <laughs> oh, okay. That and kids got to get it on. <laughs> all right, all right. Guys, guys. If there's one thing we know, kids got to get, get it, it on. on. After you poured salt on your mother, you guys didn't do any like weird stuff over the body, right? I mean. Mm, mm, not, not weird, unless you think it's weird to ride her like a pony with my brother's arms around my waist. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I I don't know where that falls on the weird spectrum. I'm not really sure. I've yeah, never imagined my, it. I was just holding on. And sometimes the ride gets real bumpy. So I got to grab her breasts. Okay. It's cool. All right. Did you happen to do this with everyone in the book club? Huh? Oh, what? yeah. All the, the ladies? ladies? You could say that maybe we rode them around like horses or cows. Yeah. Or bulls, depending on how alive they were. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It was fun. You should try it. It's the best way to get clues. Okay, no thank you. And I, I yeah, have... we got a lot of good clues after yeah, that. Yeah, what clues could you get? Well, well, first of all, number one clue is if you stay on long enough, you can get a boner. <laughs> if you stay on long enough. Yeah, if you stay on the body long enough. Okay. And they'll try and buck you off because if they're still alive, it hurts. They don't like having someone on them because their skin's all exposed. Yeah. Raw, raw, raw. <laughs> <laughs> rah, 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 rah. Are you, have you just moved on to cheerleading at this point? <laughs> oh, she tried to make the cheerleading team. Didn't make it. Oh, really? I'm Don't so remind sorry. me. Yeah. The other kids, the other <laughs> girls, they said she wasn't good enough. We'll show them. Yeah, we'll show them. What are you going to show them? What do you mean? You well, well, recently I fell into a, a, a big pit, and at the bottom <laughs> there was a, a rock, and I touched uh, it, and I got some mind powers. <laughs> and everybody's going to see what I can do later on. Okay. <laughs> All right. What mind powers do you believe you have? Well, I can give people nosebleeds. Okay. Do it to him. Yeah, do it to me. If no. You know. no. Really? Yeah. I don't, I don't think that you have mind powers. I don't I think that you actually... Triple dog dare you on top of a horse. Uh-oh. Can't deny that. Yeah, Get ready, Scott. I think that you're just a disturbed <laughs> child who... Who fell down a well, maybe hit his... Oh, my God. What is this? You're bleeding, sir. Oh, that's just a booger, actually. Oh, really uh, red. No, you guys drippy. are not... Oh, God. <laughs> Ugh. You taste it in your throat? Oh, God. Wow, what are you doing to me? How do you do that? How do you do that? Ah, uh, oh, God. Oh, God. You pretty cool, huh? You released your hold upon me. Yeah, I can do a lot more than that. I broke a dog once. <laughs> you broke a dog? It was running, and then it split in two. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just cleaved down the middle? Yeah, well, not cleaved. Sort of ripped. Oh. Yeah, shredded wheat. Oh, my God. Do you have any powers? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Asked and answered. All right. Uh, God, you kids. Scott, do you like shredded wheat? The cereal? Okay, okay. This yeah, not the dog. we're talking about the cereal, then yes, certainly. Man, I don't. We haven't had a real breakfast since our mommy died. Yeah, and our daddy ran away, which is just last night. Okay. So, <laughs> so you, we didn't eat today. You haven't eaten today. All right. Well, sorry. <laughs> but uh, you haven't eaten, eaten today. today. Four, four words for Washington <laughs> Avenue. The next clue is in the White House. Why do you guys want to go to the White House so badly? <sighs> I saw a vision. Okay, I now I believe it because you obviously <laughs> have some sort of extra sensory powers here. Yeah, yeah. I we saw, saw something. <clears throat> yeah, we saw something because so, I sh I mind shared it with her. <laughs> Okay, that's one of the powers that you have? Yeah, doy! God, what an amateur! Oh my god, it's like he doesn't even know what's going on! Have you even skateboarded before? Uh, yeah. Have you even done an alley-oop on a skateboard? Yeah, do you do longboard or shortboard? I do, oh, a shortboard. Oh, what, a mini board or a regular board? It's a regular board, obviously. Goofy it, regular! It was goofy! Huh. Ollie, kickflip or just regular? I kickflipped it! Do you ever do a dark grind? Of course I did. Shredding off the side or no? No. Tabletop. One tabletop. Spinning wheels on a fire. I have not. Okay. Story checks out. <laughs> well, look, I had a vision, and this vision was Barack Obama. Okay. Okay. And he said, I have the next clue. Find me. <laughs> <laughs> he giggled like that? 
Yeah. yeah, and he was wearing really tight shorts. Yeah, and he skipped away like a little pansy. Yeah, and you could tell he had a butt because his shorts were so tight. Pretty good butt, I'd say. Yeah, the seam of the shorts went right up his crack. Must have been wearing no underwear. Oh, yeah, because you could see the front, too. It was rock hard. <laughs> All right. So you had this dream. Was it a dream or a vision? How would you the characterize vision. it? Vision. Okay. It was during the day or? Yeah. What time? Uh, class. Oh, during class. During class. So you just like yeah. some sort of dead zone situation where you just like. Yeah. And and uh, had, you, had you ever had a vision like this before? Um, no. I only touched that rock like two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is pretty new. Two weeks ago or two weeks earlier from this story? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> you seem to have the same problem as my friend Thomas Middleditch. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Yeah, he sounds like a dweeb. Have you ever seen Silicon Valley? Never. Never. We don't have TV. Oh, it's not TV. Since our mom died. It's HBO. Oh. They have HBO now. Oh, we have that. Yeah, we got <laughs> HBO now. We have our dad's password on our laptops. <laughs> What's the password? Um, Pen15 Club. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad's password is Pen15 Club. He's a member. <laughs> okay. Have yeah, you ever his thought username it is Wait, get it? A member of the Pen15 yes, Club? I understand. Wait, get it? Um, member of, of Pen15 Pen <laughs> for, for Washington our... Lane. Yeah. You so wait, you know where the next clue is? <laughs> I think it's at the White House. Yeah! It. Let's go road trip. Just us three. Um, have you guys thought about logging into your dad's computer then and seeing logging into the mainframe? We can't do that. Hold on, you got your laptop right here. I do. Accessing. I'm hacking in. Accessing. Oh, there's a firewall. Oh, I'll, I'll break through it. Pew. 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 Typing in the password. Pen fifteen club. What about the proxy server? It's on. Download it. Man, look Downloading at all those pictures. Look at all those gigabytes. <laughs> growing, growing. Memory counting. And, and we're, we're in. in. Wow. Whoa, lots of porn in here. Mm. Yeah. What kind of porn? He's got weird girls bending over. Weird girls, meaning they're that's, like mentally that's weird? That's one folder. One folder is called weird girls bending over. Okay. <laughs> one folder says. This one says, um, all my aunts. <laughs> uh, so your great aunts? <laughs> <laughs> or is it A N T S? Is it like ant porn? Let me open it. It's ants with tits, like bugs. <laughs> so it's like like ants with human tits. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> you, you think this is oh cool? Oh my he's, ants! He's got kind of like he's got like a honey I shrunk the kids fetish. <laughs> <laughs> in which he's drunk and all these sexy ants are around. That's pretty cool. Our dad's the best. He's going to feed him pieces of Oreos. <laughs> okay. This one says, my little ponies with a Z. Okay. What do you think? Let's double click it. That's how you get in a folder. Opening up. Accessing. <laughs> Subfol <laughs> subfolders. How many gigabytes? Man, 14. 14? <laughs> 14. <laughs> 14. Opening the folders. This is taking a long time. So many different folders within folders. <laughs> I'm opening. I'm accessing. <laughs> it's just a text document. Wait, wait, is there a firewall? No, it's a text document, sir. It says, <laughs> one day, it says, my dream would be to have times with a My Little Pony grown up big that I could ride and hold my brother's waist with. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Daddy was like us. Daddy, <laughs> we, we got to go see Uncle Ken. <laughs> Who's Uncle Ken? <laughs> Our dad's brother. Oh, sorry. He works at the White House. <laughs> he does? Yeah. yeah. What does he do? He's a chef. He's the executive chef at the White House? Yeah. <laughs> he knows how to make all kinds of macaroni. He knows how to flay meat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait a second. Flay, flay meat. meat. Dinner. M-E-A-T. Four, four letters, letters for Washington, Washington Lane. Lane. The next the clue is at the White House. House. Why are both of your noses <laughs> bleeding right now? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Wait, I, sip, I, sip, sip. I have to ask. Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, Murphy, can I ask you something? JJ, can you just take a breather here for a second? Yeah, just sure. Take off your headphones. I'll I don't like to stop holding his hand, but I'll do it for a second. I'll go into my mind world. <gasps> What's up? Murphy, are, are you, do you, do you ever get the feeling you're being mind controlled by your brother? 
No, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't want me to think that. What's the last thing you remember? Being born. <laughs> Being born. <laughs> Or is that the first thing I remember? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's an important distinction. First or last? The first thing I remember is being born. Okay. The last thing I remember is nine months after that. Nine months. Oh my god. I, okay. I, am I talking to? What do it mean? Am I talking <laughs> to JJ right now? No. <laughs> JJ, are you inside Murphy's mind? No. Okay, great. <laughs> Just wanted to know. All right, JJ, come on back. Hey, guys, what were you talking about? I don't know. Hmm, cool. Uh, okay, hi, JJ. Uh, Lost JJ. JJ Abrams. Lost JJ Abrams show. Forwards. <laughs> hey, do you, ever, do you guys ever want to see the world burn? <laughs> what a weird question to ask. I mean, what if there was just a movie, and it was like eight hours long, and it was just footage of the world burning? Uh, well, I, I guess I'd watch that. I don't know that cool, I would watch too. that. I, well, so, we would. We're so, kids. <laughs> yeah. What so if it, what we say goes. What if it wasn't a movie and it was just like news footage? Oh, man, that'd be best. What, like the Challenger exploding? <laughs> yeah. God. Tell me about this rock you touched. Oh, I'd rather not. Okay. It's private, sir. <laughs> yeah, it's private. It was down this hole and, um, well, there was a rock and uh, I touched it. No. Is it private or not? You're telling me about it right now. I'd rather not get into the details. Oh, what are the details, though? Well, um, I held up my finger, and the finger touched the surface of the rock. Okay. And then I blacked out for a bit. Okay. How but, long? A um, couple, I don't know, because I woke up and I was floating in the air. Oh, my gosh. Can but, you can you uh, float right now, or are you, are you able to... Uh... I'd rather not. Uh, yeah, right. I love floating. Whoa! Whoa! Look at you! <laughs> Check me out, I'm floating! This is like Willy Wonka, where they uh, eat those bubbles. Yeah, he has to burp to get down. <laughs> uh, I can't burp. Oh no, he's gonna be stuck up there! You have to fart then! Uh, oh. oh, he's back! <laughs> oh man. I don't feel so good. Uh, well guys, I gotta ask you, I just gotta ask this question. I, ha I have to. Did you guys kill your mom? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you did. How else are we going to ride our skinned body and hold each other? What, what I mean to say is, what I mean to say is, not did you kill her once she was in pain and putting her out of her misery, but did you flay her originally? Look, school's pretty tough. You got to make friends, and sometimes that's pretty hard. And when the teachers are riding you about homework and kids are picking on you and they just won't stop, Sometimes the only solution is to get rid of your parents. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you could say we committed an act of murder. <laughs> yeah, the only thing you can really count on is your sister. Yeah, or your brother. Hmm. And the love that you have, romantic or otherwise. Stop making out, please. La, stop, la, la, la. stop it, stop <laughs> it, stop it, God. Hey, Scott, want to see me? Finger make my sister? <laughs> no, I do no, not. No means yes, it's opposite day. <laughs> no, it, it is not opposite day. Wait, that means it is. No, stop it. Mm, that was nice. Oh. oh, I liked it. Okay. Hey, Scott. Yeah. Do you want to feel pleasure like you've never experienced? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, Just I do. let me get in your mind for a little bit, okay? okay. All right. Oh, God. Uh, I'm controlling you. Ah, uh, activating pleasure centers. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You released your hold on. Why are. Oh, my jeans are all wet. Pretty uh, cool, huh? I pissed on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she just pissed on you when you were out. That wasn't pleasurable. You liked it. <laughs> yeah, you seem to like it pretty fine. <laughs> Pranks. All right, guys. Well, gosh, I, I you are the weirdest, creepiest, most frightening children I've ever met. Thank you. Thanks. What's yeah. next for you? Well, we gotta still solve this crime. Yeah, I might. I, I'm gonna try and get some sun. My skin's pretty white. Yeah, I've noticed that. Can you see my veins? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Sometimes cool. we call them powder. <laughs> you but guys I know don't, about that movie? I don't like it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> don't call me Powder. All right, all right, all right. You call me Powder, Scott, you're going to regret it. Try it, Scott. I don't want to try it. I, just you just see. said I would you regret it. You better not. Okay, I'm just not going see. to. No. Just try. Uh, all right, well, hey, Powder. He's really upset. 
You're crying. I asked you not to. Okay. I thought something bad would happen. Yeah. I guess I regret it now because I didn't realize the emotional damage I inflicted upon you. I hope, I hope the regret kills you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty bad. I didn't, wa I didn't want to make a little boy cry today. I can't help it. You know, I was born with pretty thin skin. Yeah. 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 Is that what gave you the fascination with skin? Oh, I don't know. That Maybe would... that sounds like the biggest clue of all. Because you could see what was underneath your own, and you wanted to see what was underneath everyone else's, and you were like, why aren't they like me? Let's see what's underneath that skin. Wait, skin. S-K-I-N. Four letters, four Washington Lane. The next clue is at the White House! Okay, good. We're back. Full circle. All right, guys. Fantastic. Well, um, you know, you're weird. You're creepy. I hope your business does not succeed. But, uh, you know, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, yeah, okay. And if you guys are ever looking for White House picks, just Google image search White House. Okay. Yeah, and if you ever want to see a horse, just Google image search horse. Okay, great. Yeah. great. And if you ever want to see some cool picks of me and my sis, hack into my dad's computer. Yeah. Penis 15 Club? Pen 15 oh, Club. That's right, that's right. Dude, he's not a pervert. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, they are, of course, the hosts of Good Night in the Morning, uh, the uh, radio show that has been sweeping the nation, I guess, is is one way of putting it. I guess you could say that. We're, we're syndicated in a lot of places, so uh, that's, that's entirely possible. We're sweeping oh, the nation. my God. <laughs> you are a cop. I am, I am, but that card is the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, We're having fun. Yep, yeah, you are having We're fun. Always we having fun. We're always having fun. We're having fun. Wake up, everybody. Everybody, <laughs> wake up. It's it's good night in the morning. Good All night right. to you. Very good. Let me introduce <laughs> you. We have Jasmine and Sonny here. Hi, guys. I'm Jasmine. You know who we are. Everyone knows Jasmine and Sonny. Oh. Uh? We've been on <laughs> we've been on the air for 40 uh? years. That's 40 years. Four decades. Oh. Uh? That is Sonny's signature uh. catchphrase. Uh. <laughs> you guys are about to go into your fifth decade. We're no, going don't remind me. I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a braid in her head and then one in her ass. Like dinosaurs did, I think. <laughs> I don't know if that's medically proven. My medically? You don't think they got some doctors on the case? <laughs> My second brain is full of shit. <laughs> All right, all right. We're There's... having fun. Wake up and good night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, uh, what what market are you in? Because I don't know that I've heard of you. Um, we are we in the you. You don't know that you've heard of us, or you haven't. I'm gonna go with the latter. I have Get not your heard. Story of you. straight. Like, this guy. <laughs> what is this? Uh, to kill a mockingbird? That's You're a famous stand. movie with a trial. <laughs> oh, I get it. Overruled. Okay. I want. <laughs> I wondered if I was somehow being racist or something. I didn't know why. You, you probably were... are. Uh, if you well. think you are, you are. <laughs> uh, what market are you? Can I ask questions? Or you can ask questions. Sure. sure. Okay. So, what market do you? Uh, is is that show? the question you want to ask? Yes, it is. I've well, asked it five right. times. Do we at this have point. to answer? Oh, that's a good question. Questions are flying all over the place. Do we have to answer? Yes, you do. <laughs> and, and Foreign. We're in the foreign markets. The foreign. Wait, so you guys are. Uh, China. That's right. Mostly China, Singapore, uh, India, I think. Okay. All of India. Where? I said, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you guys are not on in the States? Or yes, no we are. Yeah. Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia. Oh, For the president only. That's right. <laughs> he loves we, us. Uh -huh. Every president for the last 40 years has been a huge Jasmine and Sonny fan. <laughs> good night in the morning. Good night. And good morning. Hello. So, so since Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. Since 1965, I imagine Kennedy, was he the first or was he the, the previous to the first? Was he the first or previous to the first? Was he the first person to be a fan of yours, or was he the he last person us. to not be a fan we of yours? We were the last thing he heard. We were playing in the car. It was That's playing weird. in the car. But that was 1963. Ah. And how does that work? <laughs> but, well, he was getting him early, right? <laughs> yeah, he, he got us our start. Ugh, that's Fantastic. how we became popular at the White House. That's right. Tradition. So uh, tradition. Tradition. <laughs> well, sometimes oh. we like to sing. 
Musicals for Tatiana over here. I'm loving it. Were you ever in that one, honey? I was not in Fiddler on the Roof, unfortunately. (laughs) What would you have played had you been in Fiddler on the Roof? One of the little the little ladies. Yeah, ladies with the hair. I don't know. I've never seen it. One of the little ladies with the hair. (laughs) I I feel like I sound too much like someone else, (laughs) and it's a bit of a problem. I don't think so. I'm not doing it. You well, sound like Chasmin. It's all I can think about. What do you think and about? It's distracting. What do you to think me. about women? <laughs> What's that? What do you think about? I love women? them. I love them. Oh, you sound I new. cherish them. You I'm sound a feminist. Like someone That's different. different. That's oh, okay. very different. I see. That's different. For me, I see what you're saying. You're fine. Hold on a second. Let me clear my throat. Um. <laughs> 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 All right, that's better. Oh, oh I was wondering okay. About that. Yeah, I had a bit of a tickle in my throat, and now I'm all better. Oh, okay. So this is your real voice. This is my real voice. Okay. Well, what is this? Little, little, oh, Sunny, look out! Little, little, little. She's part. She's part lady, part turkey. <laughs> so you're a turkey lady hybrid. I hate men. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so you've done the two things that. That your uh, each half of you does do a turkey sound and hate We've men. We've done the two things that each half of us does. <laughs> so, uh, God, so many questions, right? You guys yeah. must have Start, questions. Uh, any questions? Oh, right, anywhere. Any question. You guys are a radio show or like a, a like in person talk show. We film it, but no one watches that. Okay. That's right. Okay. We don't put that out. We, we we spend a lot of time and effort <laughs> hiring a camera crew, makeup, uh, makeup, 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 makeup wardrobe. <laughs> A lot of time in HMU. Yeah, me. Oh, you should see me without it. Woof, woof. <laughs> we are both. She looks like a dog. I'm 1,000. <laughs> are you guys married? No. no. You have this great chemistry. <laughs> Why are you stroking each other's hair while you talk then? Because I like the texture. <laughs> we have to comfort each other constantly because we're very afraid of things. Oh, I see. We're both very fearful people. That's what drew us together as a radio team. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there <laughs> what what happened over here? What? <laughs> just just here in the phlegm. Oh, <laughs> just catching just, just on phlegm phlegm radar. What are you here. most afraid of? Can oh, I ask? so you're familiar with our show because one of I our am. segments is phlegm radar. <laughs> you should do a bit. Oh, I would love to see some phlegm radar. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. ready, Sonny? Oh, you bet, Chasmin. Let's turn on the phlegm radar. Oh, got some phlegm <laughs> coming in at twelve o'clock. Boop. Uh, boop, uh, boop, uh, boop. Uh, well, that was phlegm radar. <laughs> Time to turn off the phlegm radar. And that's a successful part of your show? People want Every, to hear it. And people all over the Asian continent and <laughs> District of Columbia love phlegm Asians radar. Asians love phlegm radar. Yes. That's what brought the president to, to yeah. your show, was the phlegm radar. I might say. Yes, radar was a relatively new technology, yeah. and every president had to learn it. Right. They had to learn how to operate a radar, how to read its signals, <laughs> and how to spell it, and what it stood for. How to spell it? What does it stand the, for? It stands it for together. real, asexual, Randy, and Robert. You had a lot of R's in there. You spelled Raidrar. <laughs> oh, did I? <laughs> well, that's how it's pronounced. Though. Oh, okay. Raidrar. R A D A R. Raidrar. It was. But the silent R in the middle. That's there was right. a Randy in the middle. Ra- Raidrar? Raidrar? Yeah, that Raidrar. made no sense. <laughs> is it true that Radar O'Reilly on MASH was named after your segment? Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's why a lot of times, a lot of times, <laughs> you'll see it written Raidrar O'Reilly. The most boring show on television. I stand by. Now, Sonny, you've said this, and I've disagreed, but you still say it, and then I disagree again. The theme song puts me to sleep. Well, you haven't heard it with the words. It's all about suicide. (laughs) (laughs) That'll wake you up. That'll keep me up. Good Uh, night. So wait, if you're falling asleep, just in the opening titles, you've never actually seen the content of an episode? What a (laughs) snooze. You'd actually like it. Why don't you just start a little later? You know I would like it? Well, I don't know. Everyone seems to Sonny has a problem with earth tones. Oh, Hey, a dusty palette. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so uh, so what hours are you guys on? We are on from 5 a.m. to 6.01. Uh, P.M.? P.M. P.M. Wow, that's a that's long trip. We shift. talk all day. <laughs> we well, talk all day. We're taping we don't this. see other people. We're taping this at uh, 6.05, so thank you for rushing over. Absolutely. You know, our I'm studio's sore. very close to here. Yeah, where is your <laughs> studio? Sonny is sore from rushing. <laughs> I meant my voice from talking all day. 
But what, that too. What did you guys talk about today? Can I ask? I mean, yeah, uh, of course politics. you can ask. Go ahead. All right. What did you guys talk about today? <laughs> oh, good question. Politics. We talked about politics. We talked about what, what, what's been on TV. <laughs> coupons, of course. We always talk about coupons. Mini razors. We talked about mini razors. Are you tired of regular size razors? Is your razor too big for your hand? <laughs> Wait, now when you're talking miniature razors, uh, are, are you thinking about the normal size razors because you've been using giant razors? Raz I use razors is a weird word to say so many times. Razors. Razors. R-A-Z-R-O-R-S. R. Rehabilitate. A. Asexual. Z. Zebra. Then the silent R. Raise roar. Raise roars. <laughs> we pronounce R the Randy. In Canada. In Canada, we pronounce the silent R's. The silent R is always Randy. Every word is an acronym. I don't know if you know that. Every Are you talking to me, Sonny? Because you know I know it. I'm just talking as if someone else <laughs> is here that I'm referencing, as in these people. <laughs> is it time for acronym acrobats? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Give us a word. And we'll tell you what it spells. All right, Cinnabon. Cinnabon. <laughs> okay. C. Cinnamon. I. Itamin. <laughs> what did you say, B? <laughs> the silent B in Cinnabon. Sip. Sip. Cinnabon. 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 B. Butter. Boy. <laughs> Boy butter. Boy, Boy butter. butter. Yeah. Boy butter. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It's so too you're, long of a word. <laughs> you picked you, a bad word. You just gave up in the middle of that. Because it's well, you too said, long. Well, you said all right, guys, which was very dismissive. And it made it seem like <laughs> we were done doing the word. All right, you guys We'll are, go all the way. All right, go all the way. Okay. B. <laughs> B. Battle. Battle. Oh. So far, it's C-I-B-B. C-I-B-B. Sibabud. Sibabud. A. A. Alaska. Uh-huh. <laughs> B. Bud When did you get to the ends? What's there's that? There's no end in the middle. Of Cinnabon? Of Cinnabon? Cinnabon? No. <laughs> I think there's a lot of silent bees. <laughs> and then it, uh, you, you wrap it up with an end. All and right, so good. And continue. the end word. You is... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Whoa. no. What? We didn't say it. You is underside <laughs> and is N word. Underside N word. <laughs> okay, guys. Wow, Scott, you're racist. Wait, what a what racist. About? I didn't. You're, you're so begging for us to say no, that word. By oh, the N word. Just because I said Cinnabon? Ooh. Mm, you okay, asked all for right, it. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Um, so. <laughs> good night. Go good morning. Is it is it called good night in the morning because you wrap up at night? Yes. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's called good night in the morning because uh. the show starts in the morning. Sure. It goes all goddamn day. <laughs> then at nighttime, uh, someone puts uh, a cover over us <laughs> so we, we know it's time to go to sleep in our cage. And pour some NyQuil. Yeah. Into a we do the show in a shots giant of cage. We drink okay. shots Curtain of NyQuil. over. Good night. <laughs> That's right. Who I puts this ca carpet over you? Or our, this rug or whatever. Uh, our, blanket. No one ever said it was a carpet or a rug. <laughs> blanket is a little bit closer. But I know that there's a there's a language difference because we're from different countries. Sorry, we call blankets carpets. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> like your security carpet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like Linus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what what was the question? Oh, who, who does it? Who it's does uh, it's our producer Scarsdale. <laughs> is Scarsdale here? <laughs> so yeah. Of course he is. He's always with us all he the time. He lingers. Bring him Lurks, in here. I should say. All oh, right, <laughs> here comes Scarsdale. Hello. Hello. Hi, Scarsdale. Hello. Hello. I, I am, am Scarsdale. Scarsdale. You have an interesting Ooh. phenomenon going on with your voice here. Oh, oh really? really? What, what do, do you, you think, think my voice, voice sounds like? like? It sounds like two people are talking at the same time. Do you have two <laughs> tracheas and, and larynxes? Do I have two tracheas and larynxes? No. <laughs> well, then what accounts for this strange phenomenon I'm hearing? Uh, I, I just, just sound, sound like, like me, me to me. me. I well, wow, it's it's you know I've heard of people with six octave voices, but you're literally speaking I think two octaves in two totally separate octaves. Oh, oh you, you know, know what, what it is? is? I'm, I'm Tibetan. Tibetan. Oh, I see. You're like breathing in while you're breathing out, and that's right. right. I'm, I'm doing, doing that, that all, all the time. time. Okay, very good, Scarsdale. Uh, how did you meet these two? How, how did, did I, I meet, meet Sunny? <laughs> It's interesting because occasionally, and very rarely, I have to say, 
You sound as if your two voices are not saying the the word that the other voice is saying. Well, well I, don't I don't know, know what, what you're, you're talking, talking about, about in the, the first place, place but so but I, I don't, don't know, know why it would sound. <laughs> <laughs> your Tibetan breathing sort of lapsed there for a second. <laughs> These guy, this guy, uh, Scarsdale. <laughs> He's quite a character. No, we he's make so fun annoying. of him. We make fun of him all the time on we the show. We hate him. We how did, can't how did stand you him. Get hooked up with this guy. Oh, he followed us home. <laughs> That's right. We were leaving the studio the first day we did the show without a producer, and uh, I remember I remember walking home to the to the to the home we share. Well, we don't. We're not married, but we're we not are married. roommates. We are. We've been did you call him husband for earlier? Uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> okay. I didn't say that. No, I don't think. I Sounded. actually think she did not say that. Oh, okay. It sounded I didn't. Weird. I know I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good night. Good, Good night. Morning. So he followed you home, and the rest is history. Yes. Well. Yeah, he follows over. You're not curious. As well, to I am. It seemed that. like you were moving on. No, no, it seemed like you were done with hearing this story. No, I'm never done with history. hearing your story. <laughs> the rest, uh, however, uh, uh, to to address your comment, the rest is indeed history. Okay. Um, Everything is. But yeah, Scarsdale followed us home, and uh, we what were said, you thinking, Scarsdale? Why why follow these two home? I, I wanted, wanted to, to break into, into the radio, radio business. business. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> So you wanted to break into the radio business. So then, uh, Sonny, what? I mean, you see a. Uh, I thought he was going to say I wanted to break into their into their home. <laughs> That's what I thought he was going to say. I thought he sounded like that little guy from Twin Peaks. <laughs> oh. mm-hmm. Rewind? Is that his name? Re- Re- that's right. <laughs> Little Rewind from Twin Peaks. Obi makes it to the the new episodes that are coming to Showtime. Cinemax. Showtime. Somebody stop me. Dino Mike. <laughs> um, so we followed Did you Did I home. do that? <laughs> you got it, dude. Not the mama. What was your question? <laughs> followed you home and then... Broke into the house or just stood we, outside? We leave the door ajar because uh, we're both very afraid of suffocating in our own home. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, it I seems like you'd be more sleep. afraid of burglars or a home invasion. I would I would rather be strangled in my sleep by a burglar <laughs> than suffocate because I left the door closed. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about it, Sonny. The same. You know that. Ah, that was a trick question. Razzle dazzle. <laughs> full room today. Full house. Uh, fuller house. Coming soon. The Netflix, Netflix series. Yes, of course. Who wanted that to happen? I'm not sure. Me. Sonny, are you the one responsible for the Full House you reunion betcha. reboot series? I love John Stamos. He's very sexy. He what loves eating yogurt. Oh, oh, oh. He's a total clooney. Oh, he's such a clooney. He'll be hot for ebbs. <laughs> and Scarface? No. What? Scarsdale. Scarsdale. Right? Yep. Thank you. That's his name. And I'm so sorry to 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 say Scarface because obviously you have scars all over your face, and I didn't mean to say that. Yes. Well, well when, when I, I was, was a child, child I, was I was in a, a terrible window, window accident. accident. Oh, I see. Like one of those plate glass windows that like people were carrying across the street. And- yes, yes, exactly. exactly. I, I was, was riding, riding my, my bike like, like a kid, kid does. Was, I had all kinds of stuff, stuff in, in my, my pocket. A I slingshot. Like a I'll frog. Fry dog. So I, I, a fry dog? <laughs> <laughs> What's a fry dog? Oh, He's about from three a cents. Era. Oh, we got you on that one. <laughs> That's a classic old joke. Three cents? Yeah, about three cents. That's What's pretty, a fry dog? About three cents. That's pretty cheap. You get for it, a fry right? dog? Yeah. Yeah. I just with it inflation. It was a different time. <laughs> it was a different time. Don't forget, we started. I bought groceries for a dollar. That's for the right. Whole week. Really? In the 60s. I remember uh, standing in a line for bread for what seemed like forever. <laughs> but where are you from? Where am I from? <laughs> yeah, are you from the Soviet uh, from Union? The Soviet Union. Oh. The former Soviet Union. Oh. Is that what Chasmin is? It's, it's a Soviet yeah. name? Chasmin. It's a Soviet, it's a Soviet, Soviet name. name. It's a Soviet name. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's a Soviet name. Well, I know these guys. I mean, uh, have you guys uh, heard these, these guys? I mean, are you in Canada? Do you know? Is your show... Uh, broadcast. I think we're here. in some, some provinces. provinces. <laughs> Saskatchewan, probably Saskatchewan. Oh, Saskatchewan in the northern provinces. Yeah. the territories, if you will. Oh, mm-hmm. you guys are big. Do you guys make oh, fun good. of those places? Is that like Saskatchewan? Is that like a? Funny I mean, joke I grew you? up there. Oh, yeah. So I can Careful. do it. Oh, okay. I can make. Fun I believe of that the place everyone makes fun of is Newfoundland. That's mm. where all the mm. dum dums are. <laughs> oh. 
Is that true, Tatiana? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is it because they named their place the most obvious name? We knew founded this place. <laughs> there was a real placeholder name <laughs> that they never got around to filling in. <laughs> I knew founded a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> you just... <laughs> <laughs> Someone dropped them on the street. Um, was it you? <laughs> I, I did just. I, I think you're famous for losing. I did just lose another pair yesterday. <laughs> That's you. you did. My favorite pair. And you wonder why I'm wearing this trip tank pair. Where'd they go? Oh, I don't know. Cool. Why. By all means, find your pair of They're sunglasses on the ground. <laughs> from the Comedy Central series Trip Tank. Wow, they look very plastic. Oh, <laughs> They're nice. incredibly plastic. <laughs> yes, I just lost another very expensive pair yesterday. Uh, oh, such... you can't have nice things. No, oh. you should do. <laughs> you should do what Sunny and I do. We have sunglass contact lenses that we put in. Oh, yes. interesting. Watch my eyes turn black. <laughs> Check it out. They're transitional contact lenses. So currently your eyes are sort of the color of the thriller video Yeah. at the end of it. They're sort of like cat's eye. The That's- color of the thriller video. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, no, They're I, yellow I, with red middle. Yeah. I remember bringing in a, a paint chip to, uh, to my contractor and saying, yeah, this is the color of the thriller video. My whole house painted that. <laughs> and how did it turn out? It turned out exactly like the color of the thriller video. <laughs> So, uh, you guys are, are uh, I'm reading some of your press materials here. Oh, good. Oh, we, those got sent over finally. Finally, yes. I, I admit I didn't know anything about you before you got in here. Thanks a lot, thanks Scarsdale. Thanks for studying. Mm-hmm. Oh. But uh, uh, you guys have, uh, you've been on the air for 40 years. You're about to go into your 41st season. <laughs> That's and, right. Uh, you've been on since 1965, which yes. is an amazing run. Ugh. Don't remind me. My feet are tired. Wait, and you stand from that, that amazing run. <laughs> and you guys do marathons every day. That's right, every single day before you tape the show. <laughs> we run a from marathon. Six oh two p.m. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Wait, after the show, we do it. Yep. Well, it's it, before the it next goes day show. Into the before next day. the next day show. That's Why right. are you unsure? Yes, I have a you. timeline question. Yes, sure, absolutely. You said you've been doing this for forty years. That's uh-huh. correct. You said you started in nineteen sixty-five. That's right. Yeah. Was there a hiatus? Period of ten years where you didn't, where you didn't, where you weren't on the air. Oh, that's uh, it is a I'm good just, question because the math is not adding it's up. Not, it's not adding up. And people have we, been driven crazy by this. Here's what They've we do. Always we wonder what were those dark days. Wow. Yeah, we do a, a we do a year on a year up. off. <laughs> um, sometimes we'll take two years off at a time. Sometimes uh, sometimes we'll spend a whole year running oh, wait, a marathon. So, so. I sleep in a casket. <laughs> Well, then I would think that you would be very afraid of suffocation because of that casket. It's not because, open. Oh, okay. I'm Psycho. sorry. It's an open casket. Out of respect for the family. <laughs> I have a baboon heart. <laughs> but are you doing these marathons with sheets over you? Because Yes, of course you. we are. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we are. So. But with high holes cut out, no, yeah. a lot of people think we're ghosts. <laughs> yeah, of course. For these nighttime marathons? Yeah, we're running. <laughs> we have sheets over our heads. Unsanctioned. <laughs> these they are, are not real marathons. marathons. <laughs> they are not. The city does not does not support these. How long are these supposed marathons? Then? <laughs> well, they're they're the traditional marathon length. Twenty six point two miles. Something miles. Okay. And then, Ten uh, hours. Scarsdale is there by the side of the road with uh, cups of water for us to pour over our sheets. <laughs> So you're doing like a wet sheet contest as well? Well, it turns into a wet sheet contest. And I every year win. it's it's every year Sunny wins. <laughs> Wait, it's every, it's yearly. <laughs> we we do it. You do the the races daily. We do races daily. We do the wet <laughs> So it's sort of wet cumulative. You you tally up the points at the end of the race That's exactly and at right. the end of the year. That's whoever. exactly right. Then okay. we have a big banquet where we award medals. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> So some days you're winning, some days Sonny is winning. No, Sonny always wins. Oh, every single day? Every single day. Oh, but Scarsdale never races with you guys at all? Scarsdale, ne- Scarsdale he can't run. He can't run. Oh. He's got terrible knees. Oh, They're I'm made so of sorry. wood. <laughs> were they replaced or were you born that, born that way? He was born that way. Like Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. <laughs> exactly. That's what her song's about. That's oh. right. Lady Gaga, we, we play a lot of Lady Gaga on our show. Uh, mm-hmm. that, that, we talk over it. We, but. Talk, we talk over <laughs> every single song. <laughs> Um, <sighs> fantastic, Scarsdale! You were born with with wooden knees. Are you? Was, yes. Uh, who are your parents? What do you mean? Who? <laughs> Scarsdale's got to collect himself. He seems to be having a little bit. Of, it's a very emotional topic for him. <laughs> what do you, what do you mean, mean? Who are, are my parents? parents? Obviously, my, my father. 
<laughs> Scarsdale, get a hold of yourself. My father was Geppetto, Geppetto and, and my mother was Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. Oh, oh, so t- from from two different Disney classics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what yeah, he said. That's exactly yeah. what he said. <laughs> great, great, great. So they opened up the Disney vault and those two got together. They and- boinked. As we say. In the vault, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, you know who watched Song of the South? (laughs) Never coming out of that vault. (laughs) Never coming out. (laughs) He's got nothing else to do in that vault. That's exactly right. Yeah. Um, We used to sleep in a vault. Yeah, that got tight. Once we started making money. I think that's when we developed a claustrophobia as well. Maybe a little. I love sleeping next to you. I love sleeping next to you, Sonny. My partner in business, whom I am not married to. Have you guys ever dated outside of this relationship? I mean, obviously, yeah. not dating, oh, I'm married. Like, you're, oh, you are married. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are you married to? <laughs> Phil Collins. Ever heard of him? <laughs> well, the singer? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. In the air tonight? and Yeah, he's there. <laughs> Every night. So he's he's sleeping next to you uh, then. No, Jasmine? he tours a no, lot. He tours yeah. a lot. So oh, okay. that's, it's good for Sunny to have someone to sleep next. When to. you say tours, I know he's not touring with musically anymore. Well, he, he just gave goes that on up. safaris. And right. <laughs> okay. He's doing a lot of lectures where he uh, shows the movie Buster, and then uh, he uh, talks about it. Sort of live uh, live action commentary that mm, he does. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and uh, where did you meet Phil Collins? It's so interesting. Um, take a wild guess. Okay, <laughs> Live Aid. Yeah. Were you on the Concord? The obvious I answer. I thought I had AIDS. I showed up. <laughs> Wait, okay, this is an interesting story. You suddenly had an AIDS scare that lasted, I'm going to say, a good 10 years. And so you thought the best place to get a cured was Live Aid? <laughs> I, I saying, thought it was Liv. I kept saying, Sonny, you got to do something. <laughs> And she saw, she saw a story in the paper about this concert, Live AIDS. And she said, that's got to be the answer. So you went. You see, Very Phil, disappointed. You see, Phil, is this in Philadelphia or is this in London? Wherever it was. It was in both cities. <laughs> so you're in Philadelphia, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm American. Okay, so uh, you see Phil Collins. You think you have AIDS. Yeah. What do you say to him? Help me, doctor. <laughs> You think he's a doctor because he's bald. He can't possibly be a pop star. Well, to be fair, he was wearing a lab coat at the time. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) His signature backstage look. It would (laughs) come off right as soon as 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 the lights hit him on stage, he'd throw the lab coat off. Well, his parents always wanted him to go into the medical industry. And this was kind of a fuck you to them. (laughs) Okay. So uh, you start dating Phil Collins. Oh, that's Uh, a nice (laughs) word. Oh, okay. So you started having sex with him immediately? They but, began they began a sexual relationship almost immediately. Um, and, and this was this is very generous on Phil Collins' part. Still not sure that Sonny does not have acquired immune deficiency First syndrome. First thing I told him was that I had AIDS. Next thing I told him was, fuck me harder. Oh, boy. <laughs> Phil Collins is a real adventurer. <laughs> real adventuresome spirit. But, yes. you know, that's the rock and roll lifestyle. That's right. I, of course, am a widower. Oh, really? Yes. To whom were you married? A woman with AIDS who died. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) I mean, that's what she told me. She left left a note saying, (laughs) Dear Chasman, when you read this, I'm dead from AIDS. (laughs) And you've never seen her again? Never seen her. Well, she's dead. What was her name? Her name was Bellissima. (laughs) Bellissima. Yeah. She sounds beautiful. She was. Yeah. What? Uh, describe her for me, if you could. She was four feet tall. She had <laughs> f- five foot long hair. Oh, wow. Beautiful, like Crystal Gale, but oh. one better. Um, it was like hay. She had a beautiful blue eye. Uh, <laughs> just one? Or well, I, I, I could see one. I she had the bluest one. eye. I could see one through there. She was a huge Toni Morrison fan. Uh. Um, and uh, she had a she had a wonderful singing voice. She used to sing to me every night. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. What would she sing to you? She would sing the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> Only public domain songs. That's right. Mm. Would she give you an acronym? Like, was it an acronym? Yeah, she, she would. <laughs> she would sing the alphabet. Then she would tell me what the alphabet stood for. Oh, right. let's hear a little oh, bit of it if you. Oh, remember. sure. <laughs> that's beautiful. Well, the song the song you probably know. <laughs> sure, but I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Would you really? I really would. You'd love to hear it's the It's my alphabet? favorite song. Oh, okay. Oh, it goes, it goes a little something like this. A, B, C, D, E, G, H, G, 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 G,
I love that. Oh, it's a beautiful so beautiful. Song. Such it's a beautiful, a beautiful melody. Song. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fastest rendition I've ever heard. <laughs> That's how she, well, we were trying to go to sleep. So uh, I would I would demand that she sing to me every night. And then she said, hey, I've worked up a new arrangement for the alphabet song. Maybe you'd like this one. Yeah. And then yeah. she would hit me with that. And uh, mm. wow. boy, I have fond memories. Fond memories. Every time I hear the alphabet, I remember my dead wife. Uh, so anything in the alphabet? So anytime anyone speaks? <laughs> Well, anyone time somebody says letters. <laughs> okay. Oh, so oh, okay. So was watching Happy Days words. very very difficult for you? Because they would sing Monday, Tuesday, no. and Happy Days. <laughs> no, because he he would say A all the time. Oh, the character of Fonzie was very cool. <laughs> Yes, and of course, anytime anyone on anything says you, right, when they address course, someone yeah. in the second person. I would imagine going to see B-Movie was just a terrible experience for you. Yeah, but not for that reason. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's a straight-up classic joke structure. <laughs> Gosh, uh, Christian, do you have any questions for these two? I mean, so much comes to mind. I just, I'm, I'm so surprised you guys haven't found each other romantically after mm. all you've gone through. Even, mm. even with Phil on tour all the time and you <sighs> sleeping next to each other in open... Coffins and cages and sheets, <laughs> carpets. And we're wet sleeping. Sheets. We're sleeping in wet sheets. Wet sheets in open caskets. Oh, so they don't dry <laughs> off. There's you know, not much time. Oh. There's not much time. You go well, right we gotta, to air. gotta get right back yeah. up again. And do yeah, you show. only have about two hours before you gotta get back. That's up. right. I'm exhausted. I'm very tired. <laughs> you guys haven't like you know kissed or anything. Well, be honest. There was this. Oh, did you? He you just started B. crying when you said B. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Jesus. Because I was thinking of B movie. <laughs> there was one time. Yeah, but it was not a romantic kiss. No. It was a life saving technique. That's right. Mm. I was choking. He said, "Kiss me or I'll die." <laughs> so you were choking. I you said, a "Kiss me or out I'll of die." His mouth. I was choking. <laughs> That's oh, right. I was I choking see. on a peanut. I but see. it wasn't romantic, and nobody liked it. <laughs> no, not even Scarsdale, who of course was watching the entire time. <laughs> And how touching did, himself. How did, oh, how did, that's unrelated. <laughs> he was doing that anyway. This just happened to coincide. Scarsdale, uh, do you do you have a girlfriend, Scarsdale? Well, well yes, yes, I, I do. do. She's, She's very, very lovely, lovely. And, and I'm going, going to ask her, her to marry me. Right now on the show? Right oh, now oh on God. the show. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's oh. get her in here. What's her name, Scarsdale? <laughs> Her, Her name, name is Salantomy. Salantomy. Oh my gosh, Salant! What a beautiful uh, name, Salantomy. Did well, somebody it's... say my name? Salantomy. I can't, I can't believe, believe you're, you're here. here. Me either. Do you get conjured out of the air just when somebody says your name? <laughs> yes, sometimes that does happen to me. Here I am. <laughs> Salantomy, welcome to the show. Uh, 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 what a beautiful name! I've, Thank I've, you. Uh, what ethnicity are you, or where are you from? Snake. Or, snake. <laughs> I think we yeah, call them Slytherin. She's a big. She's a big snake who looks like a person. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What an interesting story you guys yeah. have. So oh, I Do you don't think it's that. Interesting? I don't think it's interesting at all. We're just regular people that host a radio show. We've been doing it for forty years. We were on marathons every single night, wearing sheets with eye holes, <laughs> sleeping in coffins, sleep in coffins in and big, leave the door in open. a big cage. I mean, if that's your definition of interesting, I, I hope your life gets a little more interesting. Okay. <laughs> it's that Chinese curse. May you lead an interesting life. You seem like a racist. You, you're very, you're very concerned with people's ethnicities, and you're I'm talking fascinated. about it. We're we're bound together by our differences. Uh, that's not the way you seem to think. Okay. It seems you like- keep categorizing everyone. <laughs> so, uh, 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 Salantomy. Yeah. Uh, Scarsdale here has a, a very important question he'd like to ask you. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no? <laughs> That's not a good beginning. <laughs> well, Salantomy, what question do you think it is? He wants to know where I hid his wallet. <laughs> you hid his wallet? Yes, he has a gambling problem. Uh-oh, really? Uh-oh. Scarsdale, yes. you have a gambling problem? That, that is true. true. I, I do have love a gambling to gamble. problem. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure we'll we'll find your wallet very soon, but uh, in the fridge. But Salantomy Scarsdale has. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, <laughs> why in the fridge? Like, why is that a place he to hide? He doesn't eat. <laughs> really, Scarsdale, you don't eat. It's That's true. true. I'm, I'm just, just never hungry. hungry. Oh, okay. Uh, Scarsdale, go. Yes. Wait, Scarsdale has a question. 
Can you yeah, tell, tell me, me what food, food is, is good? good? Oh, uh, Tatiana, what's your favorite food? Oh, pizza, burgers, mm-hmm. chips. Just good Americana food. Americana yeah. food. Yeah. You love American food. I do. Have you ever put a pizza on a burger or a burger on a pizza? No, mm. uh, n- fries on a burger. Ooh. Two okay. bits. Have you ever done this? You can make two mini pizzas, put a hamburger patty in there, and then it's like the two pizzas are the bun for the hamburger. I oh, roll I meat into every uh, edge of my pizza dough. That's true. And then it's like a mini hamburger inside a pizza. It's mm. a stuffed crust stuffed in the delicious. It's stuffed with meat. Do you guys like Canadian food, like poutine and all that kind of stuff? Ooh. Yes. Our one Canadian Horny. food. Horny. Our one. And pancakes. We have pancakes. Maple syrup. With, with real maple syrup. What right. about that round bacon? Pino round bacon. Pino bacon. Yeah. What did you call it? Pimeo bacon. It's not Penile called bacon. bacon. No, it's no you guys surrounded. call it Canadian bacon or back bacon. But we it, call it pimeo bacon. It has pimeo crust. Yeah, it's like around crust. It? It's rolled in pimeo. What is it from the back of a pig? Probably. Yeah. It's, it's, so it's round. It's round. <laughs> like the back of a pig. Yep. <laughs> but it's very healthy. It's it's, it's very not, healthy. It's not a fatty cut. <laughs> <laughs> It's health food. It's now, we're playing fatty so cuts every day on our show. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's, what, what are you playing on the show these days? And we, Scarsdale, we'll get to your question in a second. We play all yeah. kinds of music, mostly national anthems. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the ch- Czech? Where, where, where are you from? Czech. Czech Republic. Soviet Republic. Republic. Senior Soviet Republic. Republic. I'm from the Soviet Union, yes. Oh, right. <laughs> Do you play that one on the show ever? Absolutely. Oh, oh okay. Go for it. Oh, no, he doesn't sing it. Oh, he just I just assumed he sang it. it. But you no, played, you played it so often, you must it. know it by heart. I've oh. played it so often, I know it by heart. That's right. Here we go. Soviet National Anthem. It's <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, oh I'm God. weeping. Wow. That was yeah. so beautiful. beautiful. My so goodness. patriotic. That was yeah. good. Scarsdale, hit him up. <laughs> hit up Salantomy. Go. Salantomy, I have a question for you. Will you do me? <laughs> Get yourself together, Scarsdale. Come on. You can do this. He's nervous. He's nervous. Salantomy. I have a question for you. Will you do me the honor of becoming my lawfully wedded wife? (gasps) That's not what I thought he was going to ask. What what did you think? The wallet thing. (laughs) But you already told him. Oh, I still didn't know. Oh, You thought he was going to still ask, even though you told him where the wallet was. You thought he was going to ask where the wallet was. I didn't think he heard me. Oh, okay. (laughs) My answer, though. My answer, I guess you want to know it. Huh? Yes, yes I, I do want, want to know, know your answer. answer. Okay. The answer is yes. <gasps> so oh. to me. You have made, made me the happiest, happiest Tibetan on, on the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. They're embracing. Oh. She's so tiny. Oh my gosh. She's Down just with a, me. That's she reminds me. She's so small. She reminds me of my dead wife. Oh. oh. oh I wonder whatever oh. happened to her body. I never saw it. Oh, wow. Well, maybe he was buried <laughs> at sea. Maybe so, like like Osama bin Laden. <laughs> yeah, much like him. All right. What did they do? Good night. <laughs> and uh, Good morning. What a wonderful! You guys have not stopped kissing Scarsdale in in Salantime. You've just been kissing each other tenderly, uh, and it's just so wonderful to see a couple in love. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Fantastic. And w- when's the big date? Have you... September 9th, next year. <laughs> Wait, have you checked with uh, Scarsdale yeah. regarding this? Yes. Yes. September, September 9th, 9th, next, next year. year. What does September 9th mean for you? Is there a significance to that well, date? Well, it, that, that it was, was the day we decided, decided to meet... meet. You decided to meet. Now, a lot of couples, they just actually meet them by accident or proximity. Why did you guys decide to meet? Because, because we, we both, both were lonely. lonely. Oh, okay. Oh, that's sweet. Was it like an online dating sitch? Oh, that's, yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, I see. What well, <laughs> Was it an app or was it a website or how did you? It, it was a... a Website. website. Oh, very good. Which website did you guys meet on? 
Amazon.com. <laughs> like in the customer service, like the comments. Yes, that's right. Yes, yes. that's right. That's right. <laughs> was, were one of you reviewing a product? And uh, yes. yes, I, I was, was reviewing, reviewing a, a George, George Foreman, Foreman grill. grill. Did you give it a good review or a bad review? Bad. bad. <laughs> okay, but were you so witty and... And yes. Yeah, I, I think, <laughs> I think so. so. Okay, Scarsdale. What, what was the problem with the grill? <laughs> it Do made my, my food less fatty. fatty. Oh, well, that's what it's supposed to do. The fat drips down off of it. Now, now you, you tell, tell me. me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I, I want to know if when you guys when you type, uh, if it's just bold letters or like the same words stacked on top of each other. Just like if your voice comes through. Both. Both. Oh. Mm. <laughs> So every letter is a capital and every is, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. <laughs> the reason <laughs> we met <laughs> was because, because Salantami couldn't, couldn't read what, what I was writing. writing. Oh, and she contacted you? Salantami, I'd like to hear from you about this. What, uh, I like it when he does it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, continue then, Scarzo. I, I got, got an, an email, email in my, my inbox. inbox. <laughs> Didn't realize you could email people from Amazon. Uh, yes. yes. Well, well, you, you can't, can't anymore. anymore. Oh, but okay. you got it. <laughs> okay, you got an email and you open it up. You you click on this faded email. Did you know? Did you have a feeling this was going to be the love of your life? There, there was, was an, an electrical, electrical charge, charge in, in the, the air. air. <laughs> mm, beautiful, beautiful story. No, I, <laughs> yes, sunny. I, I'm curious about how you two got into acting. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, same story. <laughs> same story. Amazon. Found a, found you guys a emailed each other? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were casting for a show. I was casting for a show on, on Amazon.com. In the comments section. In the comments. Um, and it wasn't for a George Foreman grill, unfortunately. Is that how Transparent came about? It was just so. in the comments? <laughs> yeah. All the top casting in L.A. is through Amazon comments. Oh, yeah. amazing. Fantastic. Well, they, what a beautiful story. A beautiful couple. Uh, mm. And... Um, you know, I know. Uh, you know, you guys still have not stopped kissing. It's just so? uh, <laughs> leave them alone. They're in love. Uh, let them kiss. Let, let them kiss. kiss each other in front of us. Yeah, you guys have. I have to say, you guys have moved down to caressing uh, each other's. Uh, Why do you have regions. to say? I, well, <laughs> that makes you sound like a creep. <laughs> well, you feel I, you feel compelled to talk about. It. I have to say, I'm just. It's making me uncomfortable. You guys you're are caressing each other. <laughs> It was making you uncomfortable. I have to tell you. If it's making you uncomfortable, why is your hand in your pants? Well, because <laughs> I just, stick down. I'm just checking. I'm making sure that it doesn't like rise or anything like that because I don't want to make our guests feel uncomfortable. That's a good way to check. On Sex in the City, they put postage stamps around the dick while the man slept. Remember that? Anybody? <laughs> no. <laughs> why to, to why, why did they do, do that? Do? Why did they do that? The guy from Twin Peaks. Kyle couldn't, McLaughlin. Couldn't get it up. Wait, do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte's husband, Rewind, couldn't get it up. And so at night, she put a, a ring of old-fashioned Lickham-style lick postage stamps around his his penile. And uh, in the night, it, it grew and broke. And she realized he could get it up, just only in his nighttime. Oh, in oh. his dreams. <laughs> it wasn't that he was lying to her about being in It was impotent. that they weren't having a good connection. Oh, so uh, like Mr. Sandman was coming and, and giving him I don't him know if he came, but yeah. He... <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, well. Very good. <laughs> we, uh, we have uh, one of our favorite features on the show here, uh, and I want every single person in the room to play it. It's time to play a little Would You Rather. All right, it's time to play Would You Rather. Uh, we all know how this is played. Or maybe I should check with everyone. Christian, you know yeah, how yeah. this is played. Yeah. Tatiana, you know how this is played. Uh, uh, Chasmin? Is it the classic Would You Rather situations where you choose one or the other? Certainly. And you divine uh, which situation you'd like to choose by uh, asking, asking a lot questions. of questions. Yes, exactly. Thank and you. let me ask one question here. Certainly. <clears throat> Are you allowed to ask questions before the floor is open for questions? Not at all, no. <laughs> all right, I'm glad I asked that question. Yes, I made an exception for that one. Oh, thank yeah, you very much. Uh, and Sonny, are you, do you know how to play? No. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, uh, Scarsdale and uh, Salantomy? 
I yes. think I know. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. Um, this question comes to us from Matt R. Jennings, a.k.a. Matro Jens. And uh, he, I would imagine, uh, let me check the picture, looks like male. Yes, very good. He asks, <laughs> would you rather eat a hot dog every time you are... Uh, hey, sorry, sorry. What ethnicity is he? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I can't tell, actually. He's got mm. a big goatee. I Racist. bet you'd like to know, though. Big brown goatee. <laughs> it would help you con- if you I, could categorize I, him, I bet. <laughs> bet you'd very concerned Racist. about what he is. I'd say Idaho. <laughs> So yeah, the Idaho the race of Idaho. White. <laughs> yeah. Matt thank, asks, thank God, right, Scott? Come on. <laughs> Come on. All right, Matt, uh, who's a very nice listener, asks, would you rather eat a hot dog every time you're greeted? Okay, eat a hot dog every time you're greeted, or feel great constantly, but you end every reply to anyone with, now go fuck yourself. Would you ra- rather eat a hot dog every time you're greeted or feel great constantly, but you end every reply to anyone with, now go fuck yourself? All right, I'm opening the floor for questions. I have a question. Yeah, I thought you would. In the- uh, Chasman. In, in Chasman here. This is how you play the game. This is textbook, would you rather. In Chasman here, Coming I'm right straight out, of, out of a textbook and I'm asking you a question. Yes, very good. Let me ask this. The hell were you the hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> Flame Raider's going off. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Raid <laughs> Boop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Raid Rock. It was very we the hot dog. Um, do I eat the hot dog immediately upon being greeted, or do I sneak off somewhere and eat it in private? Oh, very good question, because you do eat a hot dog every time you're greeted. So it, yeah, you do... I know. <laughs> and I asked a question about that. Okay. Uh, you sneak off, and you find the nearest closet, uh, and you eat it in there, because you, you have shame eating. Follow-up. Yes. Is it if there's ever a, a time where I can't get to a closet, am I forced to eat the hot dog in front of the person who's greeted me? Yes. Anytime there's not a closet within a five mile uh, vicinity, a radius, five mile radius, you are then forced to turn to the person uh, next to you and say, "I can't find a closet," and then you <laughs> shove the uh, hot dog into your mouth in one bite. One more question, then I'll give the other players a chance. Certainly. Well, I mean, they all have a chance, but you've just been monopolizing. In, in this, this is how you play. Yeah, I know. I'm acknowledging that, and I'm <laughs> trying to be a good. Sport. Okay. In the scenario, the hot dog. But scenario, one does not have to be a good sport in this situation. You can certainly ask every single question. That's very true. But the way we're raised That's in the Soviet true. Union is to be a good sport. <laughs> All right. Uh, tenacious I, um, In the scenario with the hot dogs, am I the president of the United States? Certainly. All right. All right. What size is this hot dog? Yeah. Is this a standard size hot dog, or is it foot long, or, or Vienna is it mini? Yeah. Little little sausage. We're talking eight, eighteen inches. Jesus. Oh God. Oh. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have toppings, or is it plain? What What do you like on your hot dog? Plain. <laughs> What about she butter? She just loves plain hot dogs. Do you like butter? Mm. Yeah, but not with a hot dog. <laughs> is the butter on the hot dog? Uh, the uh, the butter is on the bun. So it's just, oh, so you have to have a bun with this? It's not just oh. like a tube of meat that you're eating in front of people? No, it's, yeah. Buttery it's, bun, 18 inch long. It's Well, no, no, no. It's a 12 inch <laughs> bun. 12 inch bun. <laughs> A 12 inch bun with an 18, 18 inch. 18 inch. Oh, so the hot dog is sticking before. out. But <laughs> it's not sticking out at both ends. It actually starts no, midway through the bun. bun. <laughs> it starts midway through the bun and has a whole foot coming out the other end. Do you end. have to eat the bun? Because it just says, is hot dog the meat <laughs> or is that including the bun? Well, this is an interesting question. Is a hot dog truly a hot dog without the bun? But no, it's a but you sausage. Can, you can buy a package of hot dogs and there's no yeah, bun. Yeah, they're called True. hot dogs. They yeah, are still called hot dogs. Side. They are still called hot dogs on the package. Yeah, why do they write that on the package, sir? <laughs> hey, I'm not on trial here. I'm not the guy who created hot dogs, although I wish I was. Oh, oh man. You'd Imagine how so wealthy you'd be. Oh, oh boy. From Rich hot dog royalty. Pig parts. Yeah. Hot dog. Every com? time somebody eats a hot dog. Hot dog. Com. Oh my god. Is it is it a chicken wiener or is it like all beef frank? <laughs> do you mean is it a penis of a chicken? Yeah, is it a chicken's <laughs> penis? A brittle little chicken dick. <laughs> yeah. Prop- <laughs> a brittle a bunch little of, chicken dick. A bunch of chicken dicks. That's what I mean. 18 inches. <laughs> there, it, it is a chicken penis. So they're out there trying to find. Okay. They're trying to find chickens with the biggest penises on earth. Little, little chicken dick. Just John Holmes style penises. Yeah. They're out there <laughs> on the hunt. John? I think KFC engineered those for yeah. this use. Exactly. John Holmes, the great detective. I have a question. Sherlock. About the who? <laughs> about the scenario. I'm just saying words. <laughs> BBC Brit America. Brit a little chicken dick. <laughs> yep. 
in the scenario where you say go fuck yourself. Oh, not a lot of questions about that. I have yeah, to say. What everyone's that, very fascinated with the hot dogs. What was that scenario again? You end every reply to anyone. So anytime you reply to someone, uh, they have to initiate the conversation uh, with now go fuck yourself. Does that exclude prayers where you're not necessarily <laughs> hearing the voice of God, but you are having a one-sided conversation, one-sided conversation with certainly. the supreme being? <laughs> yes, it does. When you say reply, is that every time you reply in the conversation or at the end of the conversation? So you're like... Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. Go fuck yourself. I'm not an animal. It's every time you think the conversation is ending. Okay, because if it's at the end of every reply. So this is only if you're not an animal. probably won't end if you say that at the end. (laughs) True. That's a good point. Is it a jovial go fuck yourself if you choose for it to be? D- mean can always, you can you temper your go fuck yourself yeah, with within, some sort of an attitude within the context of this this conversation? Absolutely not. You have to scream it angrily. Okay, go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. Like that? Exactly. Oh. Yeah. That was very good. Thanks. I practiced. <laughs> does Just this now. does this affect your voice at all? Because my you know voice is very important in our line of work. Yeah, especially with the phlegm ray drawer. Yeah, you um, can start to sound like someone else. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like another radio host or Samantha from Sex in the City. Uh, uh, dick. <laughs> uh, Interesting, because I thought about that show earlier. I don't know why. <laughs> it does affect your voice, yes. You have a, a constant, uh, I was going to say vitiligo, but what, a laryngitis. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do I also have constant vitiligo? Absolutely, yes, constant. And do people w- stop wanting to talk to me? No, never. They're charmed by you. They love it. Mm. You become the go fuck yourself guy. Can they you avoid it. conversation? If someone talks to you, do you have to reply in conversation, or can you just be like, mm-hmm. "Great workaround"? You can you you can uh, decide not to ever reply. You yes. just be a mute. Yes. Oh. Can I have cards printed up that say, "I'm sorry, I can't talk to you. I have vitiligo. Go fuck yourself." <laughs> <laughs> you can, uh, and you can uh, in this life as well. Oh, I suppose that's true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please do point out the things that I can do in regular life, yeah, as okay. well as the things I'm able to do in real life. If I wanted to eat a hot dog every time someone greeted me, could I do that? <laughs> you certainly could. What if I pick the other one and I still want to do the hot dog thing? In real Real life? Yes. Okay, great. By all means. In real life, can I use different phrases other than go fuck yourself? <laughs> In real life, you can say whatever you like. Hmm. But I get a, I'm get getting a sense you want to say go fuck yourself. Sometimes I do. Yeah. In what situations do you want to say that? Uh, I think if someone says, uh, hey, fuck you, uh, Jasmine, <laughs> I would probably want to respond to somebody. <laughs> How often are people saying, is the president saying that to you ever? Never. He loves us. Well, whenever we've met the president, he's always been very cordial and uh, very polite. And how often are you meeting the president? Uh, daily. 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 We meet yeah. him daily. Whenever yeah. we met him daily, he's very nice. <laughs> That's right. He's nice and cordial. He's very cordial. Mm. How would he respond if you said that to him? If you say, go fuck yourself. Which president? The current. The current president? Mm. Obama. Obama. <laughs> 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 President Obama would probably, I think he'd probably smile. and uh, He's got a good sense he's, of humor. He's he got does. a great does sense he? of humor. Really? Oh, he did stand-up for us the other night. Funniest show I've ever seen. It was a really funny stand-up oh! show. Do you yeah. remember any of his jokes? I mean, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, I remember one. Uh, the first one was, uh, he opened it, this one. Uh, everybody, listen up. You know who I am? And then we and then all said, like, who are you? Are you? Uh, no, he said, we, do you we, know who I am? Yes, 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 we know who you are. Who are you? I'm the mother fucking president. And then he did the moonwalk. Wow. <laughs> Sounds funny. Yeah. Did hope. you know he's half black? What? I didn't know that. Yes. Really? I know he's from what, Kenya or someplace? <laughs> or? <laughs> 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 uh, we still haven't. Uh, so, buns, you got to eat the bun? You have to eat the buns. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Did I not answer that question? No. You got to eat the bun. You think outside the bun. You can think outside the bun, certainly. <laughs> oh, I Everyone's think I, allowed to do And you can in real life. I think well. Scarsdale has a question. Mm. Yeah, Scarsdale. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> um, where do, do these hot dogs, dogs come, come from? from? Well, obviously, we've established their big, long 18-inch we've, chicken we've dicks. What? <laughs> what? What's that? We've, we've what? established. Oh, okay. What did you think I said? I thought there was a silent R in there somewhere. <laughs> established. <laughs> established. That it's a big 18 long inch chicken dick. It's a brittle little, little chicken dick. A brittle little chicken dick. Brittle oh, is it chicken. thin? It's, it's just thin. really long? It's very thin. It's like licorice. Thin, oh, like licorice. Okay. No biggie. Ugh. I can fit a lot I of those in, I think. Suck that Like down. if they were regular it. thickness, it would be tough. But. Sure, yeah. No, it's a very, it's the thinnest hot dog you've ever seen. Do people so. even, ever seen. does it even look like a hot dog? Wait, no, no. Every time we see it, is it the thinnest one we've ever seen? So it gets thinner and thinner? Or? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Incrementally. 
But you're doing it so often that by the, you know at a certain point in your life, it's it's as thin as hair. Great. Does, does the bun remain the same size? Yeah, bun question. remains the same. Great oh. Led Zeppelin song. Bun remains the same. <laughs> Are there feathers all, all over the hot dog? Yes. Oh, okay. God. Not so. Is it cooked? <laughs> no. What? Do Feather? you get sick every time you eat this oh, chicken yeah. dish? Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you get salmonella from these chicken you dishes? Oh, yeah, and you're coughing up vomit. feathers. Yes. Does this affect how, how Other I side look? effects include? Upset stomach, <laughs> diarrhea, nausea. <laughs> Yawn. Hair loss. Does this affect the way I govern? Like As president? president of the oh, United my States? God, I forgot. <laughs> Not at all. You try to be fair about it, and you you try not to regulate the hot dog industry nor the chicken Boy, farming really? industry. <laughs> yeah, all right. You try not to. <laughs> you try, but you're not successful. <laughs> so wait, where do the hot dogs come from? <laughs> They're chicken dicks, my man. No, no, no. But I mean, wh- do I just have them on my person? Is someone handing them to me? No, you have you have a whole team. You have a secret service team out there chopping chicken dicks off and delivering. Why them do we to call you. them hot dogs? If they're just chicken dicks. Yeah. What, you can have a chicken hot dog. Mm. True. But I True, mean, but, but I'm mad about it. <laughs> hot dogs usually made of various things all smushed together. Sure, but some this can be just, beef, some can be, you know, some can be chicken, some can be turkey. Right, but this is just the penis of a chicken. Well, there you go. <laughs> is it in a casing, though? Like a, like a floppy hot dog casing? It's, yes, the, it's pork, uh, a pork casing. Oh! oh. I'm getting hungry. So it's a feathered chicken dick that's 18 inches long, but thin. In, in a, a pork, loose ca- is it pork hot? Casing. So the casing is is the size of a regular hot dog. Yes, Ugh. exactly. It's all uh, so it's like slither. It, yeah. Is it yeah. hot? Warmed up? It's not cooked. But is it hot? But it is hot because it's, it's been fresh. out in the sun all day. Oh, in okay. the sun, yeah. God's oven. If the if the <laughs> brutal, if the brutal little chicken dick is eighteen inches long, how big is this chicken? Oh well, uh, actually, it's uh, it's about as big as your wife. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, I didn't oh. mean to bring that. <laughs> Oh Four my gosh! Foot Holy shit! Four Scott. foot tall, oh. five feet hair. Melissa, why were you taken by the AIDS virus in that letter? Oh, someone's, someone's at the at door. The door. That's strange. Oh, that's strange. Who could that be? Oh, uh, let's open up the door. Oh my gosh! It's someone wearing a T-shirt that says "I am Bellissima." <laughs> That's strange. That's my dead wife. Why does it go? Why did you turn around and take. Whoa. <laughs> B- Bellissima. Now you're white as a ghost. I, b- as if I, you've seen one. You're I feel as if I have because, you know, my wife was dead, as I explained earlier. You're white as one of those sheets you wear. And now I'm seeing her uh, stand before me. Can everyone else see this? Yes. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Well, this is very strange. Why uh, won't she talk? I, I don't know. It's really weird. I feel like the person who knocked would be the person who has her ha- voice. Hello. Bellissima. Oh, you, you are here. Is it? I've been looking in all windows and doors for you. Oh, oh sweet. windows and doors? Every window and door in the city, and every city. Every oh. window, every door. That seems like such what a waste. Why not the one in the house it? that you guys lived in? The, try the house. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm still got, there. <laughs> well, oh, you didn't move out, out no, of we're still, shame and sadness? We're still living in that vault. <laughs> we're in the cage. A lot more money in there, though. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. Well, well, we the work team, our butt off. The radio. Off. Bellissima, you're, you're not, off. You're not dead? Off. I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, obviously I mean, not, unless ghosts exist. I'm a little transparent. Oh, very because popular right now. I've been eating all these chicken popular. dicks lately. I've been eating chicken dicks solely. Oh. oh. And it's making me very gaunt and sick. What happened oh. to you? Why did you leave that note? I mean, uh, I was going to ask that question. Uh, Jasmine, but your, your mouth is agape. You've been it's it's shocked. It's one Your mouth is now a gape. When I said I died... From AIDS. Yeah, you said I was that in actually a letter. saying I died. Dot from comma AIDS. Oh, oh. your nickname, oh, which I stands forgot. for <laughs> asexual, intimate. Is there desire, a, si- a silent R in there? Yes. <laughs> reduced. Sexually. Oh, meaning you were not sexually attracted to him no, anymore. No, I was leaving because I wasn't attracted to him anymore. Oh. What? Melissa, but what That's happened? I, I could have changed for you. I would have done anything to keep you. Changed your clothes, you mean? Wait, yeah. are you wearing the same clothes every this. single day? It's that, yes. it's that stinky, wet stinky. cloth that you wear. <laughs> I just I just couldn't get around it. My marathon sheet? <laughs> yes. But I wait. didn't know that was a deal breaker. I would have taken it off. You would have? What about our deal? <laughs> no. See, this is a problem. I feel like there's another woman involved in this oh, situation. Oh, it's not sexual. Sunny and I, we're just, we're just uh, uh, business partners. We are not sexual we partners. Live together, sleep next to each other, work together, only speak to each other. We've only kissed together once to save a life. And it was yours. <laughs> That's right. You saved my life? Oh, no, his. Oh, his life. Oh, but I would have uh, saved yours if I could. The devastation he's felt for all these years. Oh, Sonny's always been very supportive of my marriage. Yes. You, you seem totally fine. 
Your hair, it's long. <laughs> well, I've had ever. a I've had a lot of time to to oh. to, to grieve. Why have you and been I went through all the steps? Why have you been searching for him if you're the one who left? Because uh, you said he has a lot of money right now, right? Yeah. Oh, a bit of a I gold digger. Oh. I was reading the trades. It oh. is true that when we were married, I was just a struggling radio disc jockey, and uh, uh, we were not quite as successful as we are now. Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, now that you see her, is there any kind of spark here? I mean, Well, uh, of course she's my wife, and I love her. I love her beautiful <laughs> long hair, and I love her one eye. But I can Do see. you have another eye, by the way? Um. Well, what does this look like? Oh, it looks like a hole where I oh, used to be. Yes. Oh, wow. Which is so well, why I'm no. not well. I'm really can, not well. It's I an open never, wound you, in my head. You should have gotten it sewn up. I'm, oh. I'm so poor. I can see part of your brain. Yes. Oh, that is kind of cool. Poke it. Check oh, it out. See if her arm flies up. Get in there. Go ahead. Do, you, do you mind if I insert a finger into your eye socket? No, no. It'll make me do something bizarre. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. I kicked. Reflexes. <laughs> it's like Very another. Good. It's like another wooden knee in my head. <laughs> Great to know what part of the brain that uh, you can touch to make your your knee go behind yeah, the just, eye. Yeah, the wow, lower fantastic. the lower quadrant there wow, behind the, the eye. Wow, fantastic. Well, I mean, do have we made a match here? I mean, obviously we have. Uh, you know, I we think have you could just sign these Scarsdale papers. and Salantomy over think you here. Get back together. <laughs> Bellissima. Yes. Will you do me the great honor of rebecoming my wife? Rebecoming your wife? Well, I mean, legally, I'm single because uh, I thought yes. you were dead. How much money do you have? So much money. What are we I up to? Like a thousand dollars? A lot of thousands. Wow. Sign these papers. <laughs> of course, I will. <laughs> That's Signing. as romantic as this is going to get. Oh, Chaz. Oh. Are you still not attracted to him? Mm, just take off the sheet for a second. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to <laughs> yeah, say you guys have wearing, been wearing the, the sheet the whole time. <laughs> well, we just gave from a <laughs> oh, Okay. All right, let me take off a sheet here. Oh. oh. You can see I'm super cut. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and you're naked. I'm didn't... like ripped to shit. Yeah. Well, a marathon 30. a night will do that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm is... in pretty good shape. You literally have zero body fat. Yeah, that's right. This is the Jasmine I fell in love with. Oh. The sheetless, shirtless, ripped fatless. to shit, fatless. Mm, sheetless, oh. shirtless, and fatless. That's me. Oh, my gosh. Can we go get a real hot dog? Of course we can. Oh, my God. Amazing. Oh. And now they're kissing. And Oh, oh. my God. Wow, so the only people not kissing in the room right now, Christian, you and I, and of yeah. course, uh, Sonny over here. I am i don't need to kiss. <laughs> really? Do you not like kissing? Well, she's got Phil. Oh, and of course, Tatiana. I'm I've just heard. by myself. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> kiss sorry. my own hand. <laughs> Who's that at the door? Oh, there's oh. someone else at the oh, door? Like oh, my people. God, it's international superstar Phil Collins. I can't no, believe he's here. Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm, I'm Phil Collins, <laughs> and I'm, you know, just coming back from the tour. Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, Sonny, darling, I just thought maybe you'd like to hear some, some of my drums, play a few drum soldier solos, Fine. and then we could, you know, make love on could the drums. You, could you play Fine, the drum soldier from uh, In the Air tonight? <laughs> I'll play the drum soldier from In the Air tonight. Oh, and you brought a, a whole kit here. Oh, my gosh. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. The Sandman. Take oh. it, Scarsdale. <laughs> ding, ding. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting, waiting for this moment for all my life. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Amazing. Wow, now they right back. Now they're kissing. Phil. Oh. I hate men. <laughs> I love men. <laughs> hey, did you what? I <laughs> love <laughs> men and you hate men. <laughs> oh my god. It's perfect. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm closing the floor for questions. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. All right, I'll now never I, know. everyone in the room has to vote here. So I, I need a vote from every single person. I have no party. idea what's going on. All right, but I do Just need vote, your vote. Phil, oh. Phil, oh. Phil, I'm going to need your vote. <laughs> um... So I, I don't even know what the options are. What I wasn't here. I just I need you to two? vote. <laughs> What's wrong with I'll him? I'll take the first option. What was the first option? Eating yes. a hot dog. Big old chicken dick. I, I have to eat a chicken dick? Yes. Every time someone greets you, duh. Oh, very well, good. Well, that sounds fucking wonderful. I love chicken dicks. Oh, there very you good. Go. All right, That's thank what you, we was Phil. raised on. Win-win for Phil Collins. All right, Salantime, we're going to you next. I pick two. You pick two. You pick the go fuck go yourself. Go fuck yourself. Oh, so it's cute when you do it. <laughs> All right, uh, now we go to Bellissima. Uh, is there an option without a chicken dick? 
I did not say, but in the go fuck yourself uh, option, you are eating a chicken dick. Oh. Yeah, every hour on the hour. <laughs> You guys uh, never asked a question about oh, that. But. Oh, no. Yeah, so sorry. They're, they're both oh. both options. Hourly There's a big old dicks. feathery. Hourly chicken dicks? Yeah, hourly. I'll go with the one with the greeting. Okay. It's less chicken dicks for <laughs> And go move out in day. the middle of the woods yes. where no one's going to greet you? Okay, very good. Oh, like uh, Walden. And uh, Sunny, how are you voting? I'm voting for the chicken dicks. Vote one, option one. Really? And why yeah. is that? Interesting vote from an interesting I player. love, um, I just, well, first of all, I get excited when I greet people, and I'm excited to have a new thing to do when I greet someone. So oh. I get to scarf down a little chicken dick in a closet. <laughs> Sounds fun. All right. <laughs> Very good. Christian, how are you voting? Uh, I'm going chicken dick. You're going chicken dick? Yeah. I figure with the salmonella poisoning and the throwing up and the pooping, that I'll just drop a ton of weight and I'll oh, look really yeah. good. Oh, you'll be <laughs> so. cu- you'll be as cut as uh, Chasmin yeah. over here. But well, you don't have to luck. run marathons to get that cut. You just got to eat chicken dicks. Oh, mm. nice. A lot. All right. Uh, Chasmin, how are you voting? Well, you know, my voice is my livelihood, so I'm going to have to go for brutal little chicken dicks. Mm, because in the other one, you're screaming. I'm screaming myself yeah. hoarse all the time. And I would imagine it would, uh, there would be FCC regulations if you did it on the radio as well. You well, we couldn't take fun. calls, of course. <laughs> yeah. And you could probably never be replying to Sonny over That's here. That's right. We would have to just speak straight ahead without looking at each other. All right. Very, and not engage at all. Very Which nice. I cannot imagine doing. It would be a hell on earth because I love my partner, Sonny. Aw. No, platonic, wait, huh? In a platonic work way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tatiana, how are you voting? I'm going to go with the go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Why yeah, is that? Just because it's it's counter to, I feel like it's counter brand for okay. me. Yeah, yeah, it is. Thank it it kind of is. Yeah, yeah, it's off brand. Yeah. Very nice. Chicken dick on the hour. I like every, it. Every hour. Chicken dick on the hour. <laughs> Coming up on the tens and twos. <laughs> and, of course, our final player here is Scarsdale. Scarsdale, how are you voting? Well, well there's, there's really, really only, only one, one choice, choice for Scarsdale, Scarsdale and, and that is go fuck, fuck yourself. Oh, and why is that? And you're not just telling me that and voting for the other scenario. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, you are just telling me that. <laughs> oh. But yeah, that, that is, is the answer. answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very good. So remind me, everyone, what you voted for. <laughs> I said go fuck yourself. Okay. I said chicken dick. Chicken, okay. I, I chose chicken dicks. Chicken I dick. chose chicken dicks. I chose chicken dicks. I went chicken dicks. I went go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. I, I said, said go, go fuck, fuck yourself. yourself. And, and I, I meant, meant it. it. Okay, and the go fuck yourselves have it. Uh, oh, yay. Yes. You all tied. Oh, really? really? Go fuck yourself. Oh, and that's how we play Would You Rather. Oh, good game, guys. Wow, amazing. Felt really good. Tatiana, you got that, as well as Scarsdale and... I uh, did. And, yes, of course, Salantime. I don't know what's going on. Phil, well, you never do. <laughs> Let's make love on the drums again. Fine, fine. <laughs> uh, this is a person I met in a local bar here, and I uh, didn't catch the name, <laughs> in case you ask. <laughs> this is intriguing. I like to drink before a show, of course. You don't uh, know. No. Oh, you don't know my damn name? I know your name, Pamela from Big Bear. Yeah, Come you on know out my here. my motherfucking name. I know you know my mom. Oh, kick your damn water. Uh, I know. I know. I know both y'all know my motherfucking name. Oh, my word. My name Pamela from motherfucking Big Bear, bitch. <laughs> Suck my clit. <laughs> We're starting at Suck My Clit? <laughs> oh, boy. I tricked your ass. I tricked your ass. Tricked? I, I tricked your ass. I got your ass to invite me on your damn show. And you know I'm a fucking hater. <laughs> You're a hater? I fucking hate your show. I've been writing to you for, well, how many damn years you been on? Seven. Seven damn years. years I've been writing to your ass. You've been writing to me? Yeah, letters, longhand. I I've been writing letters on some legal pads, bitch. From a motherfucking lawyer's office, bitch. <laughs> Sucking my dang clit. <laughs> Wow, I didn't realize that was your catchphrase. I didn't either. <laughs> That's even worse. So, sometimes you learn things on the fly. <laughs> I was not aware of my damn self. Ooh. 
So you, I, I must confess I haven't gotten your letters. I'm so sorry. Oh, you never got them. Oh, you don't read your fan mail? You're too big for your fan mail? It's not fan mail. This sounds like hate mail. <laughs> don't all go to the same address? No, it goes to oh, a different she's, address. She's got you there. What, your fan mail and your hate mail go to different addresses? Yeah, yeah. How can you tell the difference before you open it? Because of the address that it gets sent to. Uh, Airtight logic, you got me there. Well, I find your show very offensive. You find it offensive? <laughs> I'm so offended by the language on your show. Ooh, baby. Ooh, I'm about to beat your dick. <laughs> I got, I saw your dick got beat with an ugly stick. Ooh, right when you was born, ouch. <laughs> you got the ugly dick. <laughs> Wait, so I now have an ugly dick. Oh, now you do. Because he was beaten with an ugly stick. Yeah, you betcha, bitch. You got your damn offensive show with your offensive guests coming out here saying whatever the fuck they want. Ooh, I don't like that. Ooh, ooh. Pamela, I'm, I'm, you, about to, I'm about to dunk your head in the toilet. <laughs> please Ooh. don't. All right, because you said please. The, I like when a bitch big. <laughs> Pamela, the show was relatively clean before oh, you really? got out here. I heard y'all call me a lesbian. I ain't no fucking lesbian. I like dick. <laughs> I like it every which way. Where do you like it? Uh, up, down, across, behind. Any direction, any direction of the cross, baby. <laughs> hey, hey now, hey. Sideways? Hey now. Yeah, sideways, I'll show you sometime. If you get a dick makeover. <laughs> Oh, Pamela. I'm so pissed at you. I'm so mad at you. Oh, your show makes me so mad. Every week I listen, I just get so mad. Oh, I just put it on, I scream. Why do you listen to it then if it's so offensive? I need fuel for my week. I got a bad job, you know. Where do you work? I run a daycare. <laughs> Is this how you talk to the kids? I call them fucking little piglets. I feed them on the ground, throw some Cheerios in a pile, make them all dig with their face. First one to snort up a bunch of Cheerios gets a prize. I, I almost don't want to ask this, but what is the prize? They get to be the class vacuum. <laughs> I the put class them in a, vacuum? Yeah, I put them in a wheelbarrow position and they just suck up all the dirt. Lucky little pigs. I'm wondering why it was so imperative I mentioned you were from Big Bear. Because that's my name. Pamela from Big Bear is yes. your name? Yes. That's my name. Pamela from motherfucking Big Bear. You're Scott from OC. Not really. I... Oh, not really, huh? What, well, because you got a last name because you're so special? You don't have a last name. No, I have a last name. You do have a last name. No, I don't. You do. I said, no, I do not have a last name. I was born in a box. <laughs> the box was a Pamela Oranges. <laughs> so why isn't your last name Oranges? Because I was born in Big Bear. <laughs> Damn. Man, you an idiot. <laughs> Let's get off that. It sounds like you don't want to talk about it. I don't. Hey, how come, hey, let's get off of that, sounds like you don't want to talk about it, applies to her and not to me. I don't want to talk about any of the things you asked me about. <laughs> Seemed like you really wanted to talk about that mini fridge. I did not want to talk about that mini fridge. <laughs> I got a question for your ass. If I, let me just ask you this. If I have a mini fridge that needs a signature to be considered valid in my town, Will you sign it? 
if you get it to me by June 28th. <laughs> okay. That is the cutoff day. And I say this with all peace and all love. Peace okay. and love. It's got to be received by June 28th. Okay. I cannot sign. Y'all, I cannot sign any more mini fridges from June 29th on. Okay. I'll get it there in time. I pray that you do. All right. <laughs> so, Pamela, you, uh, yeah. I hate your dirty witch ass. <laughs> God, I hate your ass. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I want to slam your ass. <laughs> I want to roll you up like a sushi. And then I want to throw you into a trash can across the room. Ooh. <laughs> Would you do that to sushi? Yeah, I don't like sushi. Ooh. But you no. take the time to roll it? I make it, but stinky fish. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you making sushi then? <laughs> For the neighbors. <laughs> They're Japanese. <laughs> They just moved in. I'm trying to make a welcome, you know, make a local sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get the fish? The river. <laughs> Catch it with my paws. That's my feet. <laughs> I got a real good attitude because I got, I got laser sharp focus, you know, when I do my meth. <laughs> oh, I see what's happening. Yeah. You see what's happening? You got clarity, bitch. <laughs> Pamela, I usually like all of my guests. <laughs> you don't like me? You're a little much. Oh, I'm a little say. much. That's what I thought about you when I listened to your show. You're yeah. like, I'm the host. I got to ask all the questions. Now's the time when the tables are turning. We about to ask you some shit. Oh, you want to ask me questions? Yeah, we do. I, yeah, you know what? I'm in on this. I li I'd like to ask you some questions. Sounds like an old-fashioned question off. It is. <laughs> it's old-fashioned as hell. Where you get your shirt? <laughs> Starting a little slow. Okay. Someone gave it to me. Oh, it was a gift from a friend. A coworker. Coworker gave you a shirt. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Where you That's work, a shirt factory? Yeah. That would be stealing. No. Why your friend give you a shirt? You come to shirt. You come to shirt with no shirt on. Did I come you, to did shirt. Did you go to shirt with no shirt on? <laughs> One day I showed up at shirt, uh -huh. and I had no I shirt did. on. Okay. My friend gave me a shirt. Uh huh. That's nice of him or her. That was nice. I got a question for you. How many lies do you tell in a day? Ooh, that's good. I mean, I try not to talk to anyone. <laughs> what? You try not to talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. You ever have those days you just don't want to talk to anyone because you don't want to tell lies, you know? That's you every uh, day? Every day you try not to talk so you don't lie? So oh. it's not because y'all is a misanthrope it's cause you just an inveterate liar. Yeah, and I don't want to slip up and I don't want to lie. So. Right. So let's say on those unfortunate days when you are forced to talk to a fellow human being on the planet. Ooh. How many lies do you tell in a day? Hundreds, probably. Hundreds. Every single word is a lie. I try to lie about things that they wouldn't think are lies either. Not big stuff, just like. Like you where know. you got your shirt. <laughs> 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 a co-worker gave me my shirt. Who would yeah. ever believe that? A co-worker gave me all my clothes. I came to work naked. <laughs> and they shrouded me in an emergency blanket. I made it into a shirt dress. Now Madewell selling that shit. <laughs> I have time for two more. All right. Uh, my next question it comes from a Twitter fan. <laughs> Ooh, this is modern. They want to know uh, how you, how you want to get more followers by clicking this link. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I just click on the link. Okay, good. That checks out. Great. 
One more? <laughs> Do you ever steal anything? Have I ever stolen anything? Have ever? you ever stolen anything? Answer the damn question, son. I, I think you would be hard pressed to find anyone in the world who's not stolen anything. Oh, least let me look thing. all around this globe. Bo -bo 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 Boing, me. I ain't never stolen nothing. <laughs> Call off the search. <laughs> Where in the world is a person who never stole nothing? Me. <laughs> I love that show. It's a good show. <laughs> That's a good show. It's a good show. Carmen San Diego, she's always one step ahead of everybody. Even Rockapella don't know where she is. I love that theme song. It's a good song. <laughs> That's a good song. That's a good song. <laughs> that is a good song. That's a great song. A that really song's good, okay. That's a really good song. Is it even a song? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, well, nice. We heard the word nice. Nice. Well, it's Hollywood. Nice. Nice. We're, we're going, going down downtown. Down. We're, we're going, going to Inglewood, Inglewood now. now. Everybody do your facts and know, know your stars. There's glitz and, and glamour and lots of bars. Get a drink at a club. club. Then go walk in front of the Chinese theater. theater. Hollywood facts. Check out your dicks. Check out the facts. It's a Hollywood facts, bro. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, that's a good song. Just, just one second, y'all. Hey, anybody uh, here at this show has no idea what just happened? <laughs> Someone got dragged by their significant other? Very confusing. Trust me, this, trust me. I love this thing. You're going to love it, too. This is the thing I'm into that I try to talk to you about, and you will not hear me on. <laughs> you know how you try to talk about your feelings and I have to take out my earbuds? <laughs> We're going there tonight. <laughs> what is this guy doing? <laughs> Literally won't watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> he came here to protest, I think. So. So anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have stolen something. Yes. You do what? I have stolen something. Yes. Okay, well, you what steal. did you steal? I think I stole some comic books once as a Ooh. little boy. Well, you do stick them in your pants. <laughs> Walk out the store like you didn't have nothing. How you do it? I, did, I wasn't walking out like I didn't have nothing. Like. <laughs> I've seen how you walk. You've seen how I walk? Yeah, this you is walk how I like walk. like this. <laughs> you barely move forward. <laughs> I've seen a, that. That's a pretty You've accurate seen, physical impression. I've seen that. <laughs> it's good. It's good? Yeah, I like that. You what? like your impression of me? I like my impression. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to do that in the mirror when I get home. For 12 hours. Till my last tooth falls out. That's how I'm keeping time now. Till your last tooth falls out? I got out? one tooth left, and then it's my birthday. <laughs> it checks out. Well, Pamela, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> it's so nice to see you. You know, you should tell everyone what you was doing at that bar. <laughs> that bar you met me at. I was just getting a drink before the show. I like to, you know, it loosens me up yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you were swiping right on Tinder and you found my ass. Because <laughs> you liked my picture. It wasn't even a picture of you, by the way. It was a picture up my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you like it. <laughs> now I want I came here to give you a message you gotta clean up your damn show <laughs> you're the reason that it's you dirty gotta tonight you clean up your damn show some kids like to listen to this shit <laughs> they're getting filth <laughs> do you have a, do you have any talents Pamela yeah I can do car wheels <laughs> 
The floor is a little wet. Actually, but... no, I really can't. <laughs> I never do it in my whole life. <laughs> Why'd you lie about that? Because I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> she got you there. You're my idol now. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> let's get to our next guest. Okay. He, uh, he's in show business. Okay. <laughs> Unlike the two people up here on the stage. Yeah, no, I've never even seen a TV. You've never seen a TV? Nope. You, well, maybe you have and you just didn't know what it was. What is one? <laughs> <laughs> it it, it kind of looks like a box the size of a mini fridge. And then what? <laughs> <laughs> then it has some, you know, they used to have little bunny ears. Yeah. Off the top. What happened in it? What happened in it? <laughs> what happened in there? There, I mean, a lot of programs. I've seen that. You've seen that? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. I watch TV all the time. <laughs> I didn't know what it was called. Bring out your friend. <laughs> I, my, not my friend, but... Bring out your friend. <laughs> Bring out your friend. <laughs> Take out your friend. It's a Hollywood friend, bro. bro. <laughs> All right, our next guest. Uh, he you, are, you need some. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> I am at the ready to give the Heimlich maneuver to anyone. That was like Doug Doug Hyman. I mean Heimlich. <laughs> the, the Hyman maneuver is very different. Yeah, I had that. I had the hymen maneuver done to me. I was 15. I wanted it. <laughs> he was 15 too. It's all good. He was 52. Is that what you said? 15 too, oh, baby. Okay. Yeah, it's a double statutory rape. You damn lab. crazy. Crime. <laughs> Did you just hear a crime go? Crime. Yeah. I heard a crime go. Yeah. You call him when you hear him. In my past? You heard a crime go in my past? That's right. That's why I'm not getting too excited about it. It happened a long time ago. Yeah, it was Presumably, a long time ago. I don't know how old you are, Pamela, from Big I'm Bad. I'm more than double that. You over 30 years old? Yeah. I over 30. 31? Yep. <laughs> Checks out. He guessed it. And the rings around my mouth. <laughs> You want to say your catchphrase one last time? Yeah, suck my clit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Pamela from Big Bear. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> take a bow. Go ahead, take a bow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. 